Welcome in everyone. We got the crash counter fix today and we are rocking and rolling. We are on a new map. This map is mahusive, I think is the appropriate word for it. Uh, but holy smoke, it's a big map. And good to see you guys here. 86 people here. If you guys are just joining, make sure you guys hit that like button. We are good to go. We are not even at our farm. Where are we at? Let's go, let's go to our farm. So um, if I jump over here to our farm, this farm, if I go into flight mode here real quick, I'll show you guys what we got going on. So this is a kind of a custom farm I built. So I want to give you guys some of the background for this series in terms of what we're going to do. Let me get that mic out of my face there. Put it over here. So in terms of this series, so this is kind of an extension of the old stream farm, but kind of not. And what I mean by that is a loose extension. So we have $7 million. We don't have a lot of equipment yet. We're going to do a big harvest here in a second. Um, but the concept behind this series is we sold the old stream farm, everything we had, all that lands, we bought the whole map. We sold that whole setup for $5 million. And then coming on this map here, we have a $5 million loan that we have to pay back, which I know we can pay back right away, but we're going to need some big equipment. And so starting with that $10 million in the bank, $5 million from the loan and $5 million from selling our old farm, this is where we were at. And we have bought just this one chunk of land here and we are running seasons and precision farming so it's going to be interesting i haven't done a soil sample on this which actually i'm going to be honest we're going to pay someone uh, to sample this i believe um we should be purchase soil information oh we smoked it's 80 grand but we, yeah we're not going to soil sample it's going to take too long we'll purchase that uh that's a good chunk of land there all right so um what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and start today because we have some stuff to harvest. So we're not going to do great in terms of uh, environmental score on anything um, today, but we have this whole field through here ready to harvest. And then this one's not ready to harvest over here. Actually, I don't even know what we have planted over here. Um, this might just be grass. This is grass. No, what is this? This is, oh Lordy, sugar beets. Okay, well, we have sugar beets right off the bat. Go bigger, go bigger. That's right, Yoss. <laughs> but good to see you guys. We got Yoss, JBot, CBW, Caden, the Fantastic Farmer, Man Truck in there, Jason uh, Vuri's Gamer, Quentin Williams, Unknown Kansas Boy, Musketeer09, good to see you in there. Uh, Mr. Pickle, good to see you. Fantastic, and drinking my coffee. I got my DJ Go Ham mug with me today. So, okay, yeah, so our farm. We have right over here, this is just liquid for fertilizer and herbicide storage. This building is here. Um, this is seeds. Power washer, diesel, solid fertilizer, and lime over here. So um, we should be able to get everything we need. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hop out of flight mode here. Um, yeah, we still probably should buy some things here before I forget. This holds lime, the other ones don't. So, well, 100 liter, thousand liters of lime. No, we probably don't need quite that much. I think we probably, 50,000 is probably more than enough to start. Solid fertilizer, we'll probably end up using some in here. I probably won't use a liquid fertilizer. Uh, 50,000, gosh, we don't need that much. 10,000 should be plenty to get us started. Uh, Jackie, good to see you. Sim Squad, good to see you. Luke West, good to see you. CCG Callum, good to see you. Immortal, good to see you. Um, we are doing some giveaways today as well. And if you guys are just joining, make sure you guys hit that like button. But before we start uh, buying some more stuff here, let's take a look at, let's go grab our harvester. And I've never used this style of grain bin in a, in a series before, so I'm going to use some of the Meridian bins here that we have from base game that use conveyor belts and all that sort of good stuff. Can I get in this tractor? Now, one thing, and it's got to be with this mod, with this modded harvester here, um, there is no fuel gauge over there. So I don't know if this thing needs fuel or whatever the case is, but I did a lot of work to customize it, so I'm not getting rid of it, at least not right now. Uh, Trucker Matthew, yeah, so big equipment to start because we got a big farm here. We're uh, we're gonna try to go that route right away. So, and the map is uh, it's not North Dakota Hastings. It is Spring Creek, North Dakota. That is the map we're on. We're on Spring Creek, North Dakota. That is the map we're on. So, we are gonna start cooking here. Oh, it was canola. I thought this was gonna be. I guess it is look like canola. I don't know what I thought it was gonna be, but we have we do get what we get. So there we go. Um, what I think we can do though here is we do have course play installed so if we go into here we should be able to create job if we go to course play field work uh right here for field 30 361 i don't know how it's going to handle it to be honest um yeah let's go ahead and do that and then we'll open the course play yeah we'll lower that a little bit one tool number of headlands let's do two maybe around the outside smooth up down field center and you can skip one row well, actually, no, that might actually confuse it if it, if it does that. Uh, simple, bypass islands. Um, let's go ahead and generate that course. 
You have a second here. It's going to be a big course because it's going to be a big harvest. CBW, good to see you, my friend. Devil Dog, good to see you. A giveaway, we're going to do a giveaway of the Vermeer pack, a giveaway of the Pumps and Hoses pack, which is not yet released, and a giveaway of the, excuse me, the Platinum expansion, which is also not yet released. Okay, let's go ahead and have this guy start at the first waypoint. And there we go. He's going to start working on harvesting that for us. Um, and then I haven't used this truck. This is a modded truck that I wanted to use. Oh, let me hop over here. This is a modded truck I wanted to use. This is going to be our guy that kind of goes out to the fields and gets stuff picked up and stuff like that. That's right, Scooter's working on a cool combo that runs on sale fuel. <laughs> and I thought it was some issue with the map or something, but it's not because this thing has a fuel gauge. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead. This is going to be what we're going to use to pick or empty the harvester as it gets full on the field. So we'll keep this guy out here for now. But there we go. Okay, perfect. And obviously we're not gonna do too great off our first harvest. We're just harvesting it to get it off the field because it came with the field. So then we'll purchase, purchase some other stuff to get stuff squared away. But uh, yeah, this map is so stinking big, it's huge. Uh, Immortal, I'll explain all that once we get to the giveaways. All you have to do is be in the chat to have a chance to enter the giveaways, my friend. But yeah, I'm excited to use these guys here. I've never used these style, this style of silo here. And then we're gonna need some other stuff over here. So we got fertilizer and lime. Um, I wish this had, this is just, it works as a silo, so we have no way to buy it to put it into there. Um, but that's okay, 25,000 liters of fuel. I mean, we probably don't need that much to start. We'll just start with 10,000. Um, I know we have plenty of money, but we don't want to burn through all of our money. Now, seeds, we are going to need as many seeds as possible, so I am going to buy that um, right off the bat there. So uh, that's what we got going on. Berman, trying to figure out how to be a member of the channel, but I can't find the link. Uh, can someone tell me how to do that? Someone should be able to help you out. It might be because you were on an Apple device. Sometimes that makes it a little bit difficult. Um, Adam M Gaming, good to see you, my friend. Ronnie, aka the guys, does anyone know how to remove grapes on console? Um, you shouldn't, um, you can't sell the land to get rid of them. You have to delete them in, in build mode. So if you go into here and you hit the demolish button, then you click on them, that will help you delete them there. I see you know, how does Yoss join? He doesn't need to join. <laughs> Chris Durbin, good to see you, my friend. Danny says, is this on your newly built custom computer? Yes, Danny, this is. We are on there right now. Um, but yeah, okay. And I do have store delivery installed. I will accept the, the full responsibility for the fees, but it will save me time from driving them down here from, oh gosh, where is the store even at on this map? I don't even know where that thing is at, but I mean, yeah, I don't, I have no idea where the store is at to be fair, but this is going to be a lot faster than, even if the store is right up here, this is going to be a lot faster than trying to do anything else to get stuff out here. So, um, okay. And yeah, if you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel. But what we need to do, we need ourselves like a big, a big powerful tractor to do like a lot of seed work and stuff. But let's go ahead and buy, I think we'll buy the cedar first. Um, so let's go under cedars. And yeah, we got some good options in here. Let's see here. Okay, let's get bigger. 15, 18, because we need to go super big. 19.8. 23.2 and then 30.5. I don't think we quite need that one just yet. I think the 23.2 do it because that's that's a, like over 130,000 more. Honestly, the seed hawk would do us probably just fine. 213 for 18 meters, 19.8, 23.2. Yeah, the seed hawk would probably do us just fine. So maybe we'll just buy the seed hawk to start. That'll save us a little bit of money right off the bat. Um, yeah, we'll do some duels in there. Ooh, we can do a verticet instead of the seed hawk. We'll do the seed hawk. Yeah, toe between, toe behind. Yeah, we'll, no, we'll do the toe between for this one. Yeah, we'll do that. Perfect. It worked this time. Oh, perfect, look at that. We got new members. Thank you, Jason, for giving 10, 10 members. We got Mr. Pickle, Berman, Immortal, uh, NHE, Wouters, Kevin R. Hossinator, um, Slenderman Gaming, Risky Oregano, and Richard Plovnack, and Adam. All welcome to the, the Farmer Cop channel, my friends. Farmer King joins your member for four months, says, Hi, FC, love the game, and my first adding him is out soon. Awesome. That's awesome, my friend. All right. Let's go ahead and hop off of there. Combinations that should show us this bad boy. Beautiful. Ooh, the tracks look pretty cool. Oh, it's an extra 20 grand, though. No, I don't really want to. This is a toe between. We need this one to be the toe behind because the other one's a toe between. Seahawk. Yeah, we'll do the Seahawk. No conveyor. Let's do the conveyor. I, that, I like that on there. Uh, makes it a little easier to know what's going on. 
Beautiful. Okay. So we got this bad boy here. Now, one thing we need to take a look at as we buy our equipment is we need to take a look at how much, because I forgot to do this. We'll take a look at how much horsepower is required by this. Uh, 450. So that's not too bad, actually. So let's look at big tractors here. I have a lot of mods installed. That one goes up to 500. That one wouldn't be a bad one. 302, 375, goes up to 530, 500, 500. Mm, yeah, I think we might go with, uh, it's the 9X20, the 9X30. It's a little bit more horsepower for how much more? 160 versus, yeah, we'll do it. They'll try one of these guys here. Um, we'll do, yeah, that's fine. Do we, we don't really need the rock box. Do that there. Attachers, PTO, we'll probably want that. Uh, we don't need the green star. Um, engine setup, we want the biggest, baddest engine you got. It's an extra 58 grand, so that's 187 for this. Um, US version, we'll set up, we want, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, we'll put GPS on it as well. I'll buy that guy. Okay. RIP FC's PC from the mods. Oh no, it'll be fine. My PC can handle this no problem. All right, so now we gotta hook this baby up here. Obviously it's not time to plant yet or anything like that, but we wanna start getting stuff set up for when that's gonna happen. Farmer G and FF Smith, good to see you. All right, let's see if we can get this guy all backed up here. But yeah, 500, uh, 500 horsepower should be plenty to do this guy. Perfect. Okay. And then on that guy in the back, we're going to open the cover up because we need to... We'll drive around so we can actually... Actually, we might be able to... How do we do this here? Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe it's not letting me unfold the... Uh... Hmm. Let's see. Unfold cedar. We don't need to do that. Let's turn on cedar. This guy right here. Deactivate. Select seed. Adjust dust scale. Uh, no, we don't need to do that. I do have some pretty cool mods in here that I haven't used before, like some of the exhaust, like one of the mods that makes the exhaust look more real and some other stuff like that. Uh, okay, let's try to just pull up under here. I'm a little concerned that it's not going to let me fill this thing up, to be honest. Uh, that's that's probably a crash. <laughs> Put one on the crash counter. I am a little worried. Why is it not letting me... Hmm, interesting. We might have to just... I don't know how I'm going to get out of this without crashing probably again. Yeah, we just hit that again. Okay, maybe we just... Can we sneak past here? We might be in a lot of trouble already. It's already off to a rough start here. How's our harvester doing? Okay, 85%. He's doing pretty good. And this guy has a huge, huge grain tank as well. So that is really nice that he has that. Uh, let's go over to this screen so we can actually see what he's harvested. I mean, he's almost filled up doing that. He's going to probably work his way up the side here and then go over the other side. But, um, okay, let's hop back over here. Um, let's hop back in this tractor. Oh, they are configured correctly on the cedar. Oh, did I? Yeah, they don't look right, do they? Maybe I need to switch them. Did I switch their order somehow or do something strange here? They are configured the wrong way, Farm God. They both need to be set to toe behind. Oh, copy that. Okay. Well, good news is we don't have a workshop trigger. We probably should place one of those, actually. Uh, so we can configure stuff. I think this might be the only one I have, actually, other than inside of uh, barns and stuff. Oh, shop area is restricted. Yeah, we can put this over here. That's actually probably not a bad spot for it. Just to start out over there. Okay. Yeah, so we got a little workshop over there. I like that. Uh, this map is not cross-platform. This is way too big for... Con oh, gosh. I'm driving in a circle now. It's way too big for consoles to handle. And that crash counter from earlier. I had to put one for when I hit the thing a second time. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's not. Okay, let's get these guys configured, hopefully correctly this time, so we don't have any issues here. Customize. Toe behind. Okay. Customize. Oh, they're both toe behind. Hmm. Oh, uh, no, sorry. That was not toe behind. There we go. Customize that. There we go. And then make sure the other one... 
Oh, no, it's just that one now in there. Okay, now can we actually open the cover on that? Oh, there we go. It's doing something. Not into the building. There we go. Okay, perfect. Look at that. All fixed and renoed now. So now we need to just loop around. We'll drive. We'll try to do our loop over here. We probably should have driven further around to be a little bit more careful. All right, there we go. Wait for that to stop. Maybe. Maybe it's gotta be the next tank. We'll try the next tank. <laughs> nope. Is there one more tank? Oh, we're having so many issues right off the bat. There we go. Okay, finally got it. So it's gonna actually put the fertilizer in. That makes sense in Norwegian. That makes sense. Holy smokes, this is taking a lot of fertilizer. We're going to have to buy more fertilizer right away. And there it all goes. <laughs> That's okay. We'll buy... We're going through it like that. We probably should just buy... We'll buy 10. And then we'll buy another 10. This thing should have 20. There we go. Okay. Yeah, 20,000 should do it. Now is when you need the wheel. Yeah, no kidding. I need to get that wheel set up. I have my wheel set up. If you guys keep watching the series, we would we will get it set up. Ooh, let's get that folded up so we don't hit that. And then we'll drive past it. And then we'll unfold it again. There we go. We're to our second seed tank. You can do it. Okay, maybe, maybe not. There we go. Whew, there we go. Okay, we finally made it. Favorite farm, I'm doing fantastic today, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Let's go ahead and get this guy put away because it is not time to use it yet, but we need to just get it out of the way for now. I think we'll drive around the side here. Oh, we're not even full on fertilizer, but that's okay. We have plenty of fertilizer in this thing. Um, I think we'll put it in the second shed over here. Get a big old shed through here. We'll pull it off to the side. So we can put hopefully something else on the other side over there. There we go. Okay, now, in terms of what else we need here, um, so we need to do, I think we want to do probably, we're not going to worry about the organic fertilizer um, for precision farming yet, but what I want to do long term is I want to do um, BGA work and I want to use digestate. So I want to do that long term and then hopefully once the pumps and hoses pack comes out, we'll still be on this series and we can use that um, to do some work with it. So I think that would be good for us. Um, okay, so... In terms of everything, I think our corn out there, I think I want to do it as a silage harvest, quite honestly, because I want to start getting a silage good to go for that sort of thing there. So I think we might do that. We might uh, place a fermenting silo because that will just make our life a little bit easier. So if we go to productions here, um, we should be able to find a fermenting silo of some kind in here. Uh, we might do some production of the series. I have some in here that I wanted to do potentially, but I don't have any specific requirements in terms of what we need to do. This is one I think I used on, um, I think I used this on the last series we did. There's some other cool ones. Um, actually, if we go to buildings under silos, I believe there's some, yeah, these are fermenting silos here. They're just under silos. This one's 60 grand. This one has the American flag on it. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think we'll actually use this one here. Um, now in terms of where we put it, I'm not against putting it like, I think right there actually be a good spot for it. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, I like that. Now, if we go to production, it should show up in the production menu here. If we go down to where's our productions. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, 60,000, so it is 60,000 a month, which is fine. That's more than enough for us. That will make you chaff. We'll have that good to go. Uh, oh, our harvester needs to be unloaded. Let's go grab that guy real quick. Let's hop in our truck. Oh, we need to go up to here. There we go. And we are just going, we have crop destruction on, so we do need to, where is he at? He's over there. We're going to have to follow him around. So, yeah, we do have crop destruction on, so if we drive on our crops, it will be bad. I don't have plowing turned on because we're running precision farming, so periodic plowing is not required. I don't have stones turned on either. Um, those are just two things I have turned off, but everything else is pretty much on. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help the channel. Lucas says, yeah, I'm doing perfect, but summer was rough, but we all good now. I'm back to FS22. Nice, love it. Norwegian says, I'm a Valtry guy. My heart broke when we weren't in base game war, but now they're, yeah, they're coming back. That's That's got to be awesome for you, Norwegian. We got some little areas this guy missed. That's okay, we'll just run them over. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think that probably counts as a crash counter on that one. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Uh, favorite farming, I use Adobe to render my videos. All right, let's loop up this way. Not lose control this time. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna get this guy unloaded. I think that might overfill the truck a little bit, which is, I mean, that's totally fine. In case you guys are warning, the header on this thing is absolutely massive. So the header we're using is, if we go under our store here, uh, this is the Dura 60 foot header, so it's 18.2 meters, so it's super, super, super big. FC and crop destruction. I know, Yachts, it's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> oh, goodness, favorite says, oh, yeah, I already answered that question. Don't hit it, smash it, strike, right, D-Dog. Don't hit that like button, smash it. That sounds good, Luke, awesome. I need to try to be more active in Discord. Oh, copy that, favor, copy that. Copy that, and yeah, we'll get this all loaded up here. A lot of, lot of canola, which, I mean, if we take a look, what is our canola pricing at looking at here? Uh, oh, the buying station's good gravy. Um, 1312 is what we're looking for probably in December, so we're not going to sell it just yet because we should have a lot of it. Okay. And he should probably keep going. Okay, good. He's going to keep harvesting us. We can't do a whole lot more past that for you, but we do need to go empty this out, put a cover on it, just to keep it all safe and in there, especially with me driving. SA Mining says, do you know what else is super big FC? What's that, SA? SA Mining, what is that, my friend? Ooh, check sales, brilliant! I always forget to check. Because uh, we can afford whatever we want, really. Not actually, but. Ooh, that's a precision uh, sprayer. 33 meters, we might actually buy that. Um, because I don't think there's any. Hmm, because we need one to do like weeds. And I don't think... Oh, this is part of the Precision Sprayer Pack. Well, we're going to get that one. That's just... Well, how much is that? How much is that in terms of... That's 48. The other one was 33. 33 meters is pretty darn good. We actually might buy that. That's a pretty good deal there, too. Let's do the 33. Um, that's fine. Um, as long as those are narrows. Are those actually narrows? There's Those are for sure got to be narrows. Uh, weed spot spraying, yes. Yeah, we can put that on there. All that can stay the same. That's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this. And then we will need to get a, a smaller tractor to pull that. Because I always start John Deere is going to be a bit excessive for that. But we might be able... Ooh, we can get like a Kubota. I haven't used a Kubota a lot. Yeah, it says 33 meters is small. That's not too bad. I mean, to be fair. And we'll probably end up having more than one sprayer anyways, because we'll want that one to do maybe smaller fields or slightly smaller fields. We can have our other ones do the other fields or big ones. And we'll already reach gosh darn it, Yas. Oh, goodness. I need that map on here before I get lost. I can probably drive up this way. Let's take us up to our farm. Yeah, I've never played on a big map like this before, or at least too extensively, so... I'm excited to do this series. I really want to do some really big harvest, some really big stuff. Um, and I want to play, uh, I'm not going to say realistic. I think realistic is obviously a stretch for me, but I think that we. I want to try to play semi-realistic. And I had to landscape this whole farm in here. I'm pretty happy with actually how it turned out, to be honest. Oh boy, slow down. This thing needs better brakes. Oh, we almost hit that. Um, okay. Let's see, tip side is grain door. 
That's probably the most realistic for what we're doing here. That should just load up into silo. Beautiful. Oop, pull a little further forward. There we go. I actually have a dump in there. That's running. This thing's got canola in it. Beautiful. And these things each hold, I think it's like 1.1 million liters. Everyone by show of hands who smashed like but nice Jason. <laughs> we got a lot of people watching, which is great. I'll go pop. Yeah, realistic. That's right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Brian Oxen Time with a $3 super sticker. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you, Brian. You are awesome. You are awesome, Brian. All right, let's park this guy out over here out of the way. Perfect. And then uh, our harvester is doing its thing. Probably. I went up that way. He's going down that way. Um, yeah, he, we're going to be working on this for a long time. Um, yeah, so we'll need another harvester at some point and some other stuff. But let's take a look. Okay, let's go back to here. I think we could probably get a Kubota tractor that could do that sprayer. I think the big one would do it no problem. So I think I actually really want to, uh, if we go up to brands, let's go brands and go to Kubota stuff here. Uh, there we go, Kubota. I think I really do want to run um, the big old M8. Yeah, 200 horsepower is going to be plenty for that. Uh, if we do narrows on it, it's going to be doing spraying. Okay, we'll, do a, we'll do a front weight on it. No, actually, we'll run a three-point on it. That's probably smarter. Uh, we don't need a front loader attachment. Bigger engine. Ooh, the Iceria Pro Compact. Um, we don't really need that because he's not going to do fertilization. We'll put it on there just in case we need it for anything. Um, okay, beautiful. I like that. Okay. So we have a Kubota. And now the other thing we need to get... Uh, yes, Creamy's Brianna. I am a law enforcement officer. Yes, I'm a full-time police officer. That's my job in the real world. Alan Rhodes, I'm totally not watching it work. <laughs> You're good, Alan. Devil Dog says, FC, do they fix the 60-foot header? It seems to work fine for me so far. Uh, D-Docs, this isn't a clutch person. <laughs> I, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> uh, click the like, so keep on smashing my keyboard. Awesome, Mike. Perfect. Jeff Clarkson, good to see you, my friend. Tom Richard Severson says, hi from Norway. Good to see you. Farmer G says, Valtra Q. Nice to see you, Farmer G. I can drink coffee. I'm going to need a refill here soon in that coffee. Okay, so we need to get a trailer that's going to haul... We need to get a semi truck and we need to get a trailer that's going to haul large quantities of liquids. That looks pretty promising. Uh, I actually really like the look of that tra that trailer right there. We're going to get this guy. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it the 40,000 or that it has like a no toxic flammable liquid. Uh, we'll do we'll do the dangerous substances one. I think I got left and right, only mud guard. Yeah, we'll do that. Back ladder. I like that. I like the back. Well, I guess we could do that. No, I don't like that. I like just the back. Yeah, the back one. Just the back ladder. Yeah, there we go. Front pipes. Side pipes. Yeah, we're good with the pipes. Um, reflective. Uh, yeah, sure. That'll be fine. And I'm not going to do the uh, bigger capacity. I'm just going to do the 40,000 liter two axle. Ooh, three axles. That's that's how we got to roll it. Main color. We can do stainless steel or galvanized. I kind of like that galvanized. Ooh, no, I don't. I like the design color to be chrome there. Yeah, I like that look there. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that guy right there. That's perfect. Trucker Mancy. <laughs> Mindy T says hi to everyone from Finland. Good to see you, my friend. Good to have you joining us, Mindy. Um, yeah, so we we'll use that, and that can haul everything, which is perfect. So. Um, okay, now we need to get a truck. Truck time. I, I do really like the look of the older trucks, but we have... Oh, gosh, it's hard. Um, I'm leaning towards a Phoenix I haven't used. I don't know, the Phoenixes are pretty sweet. Oh, gosh. All right, should we get this old Mack truck here or one of the Phoenixes? I'll put a pole in here. What truck should we get?
All right, we'll put that in there. We'll, add, we'll ask you guys. Um, those are the two that I'm kind of between right there in terms of what we get. I think those will both do great for us. Um, how is he doing? 88%. We probably should start driving his way to get ready to unload him. I think if we head in the other side, I think that'll be better for us. Now, there's a lot of little weird stuff in the map, like all these little areas right here. A lot of these areas can get plowed. There's not even trees there in a lot of them. So a lot of these areas are just kind of grass and can get plowed in. But uh, and they're just kind of there to, to meet the map or to, to show the map off a little bit in terms of its realism and how it fits into the, the actual Google image of it or whatever the case may be. And thank you guys for over 100 likes. You guys are awesome. Farmer Sim Jim says, hey, Farmer Cap, good to see you, my friend. This map is available for download. This is not an early version of this map. It is not on Mod Hub, and it is not for all platforms, but it is available right now. I will, I think it's, if I don't have it, I don't think I have it linked in the description. Let me go ahead and do that real quick, actually. I have it pulled up here. So let me just, let me put this map down in the, uh, in the description, link to the map. There we go. Okay. There, I put a link to the map download inside the description. Oh, you guys are neck and neck for the, the TLX and the Mac. I mean, we do already have one Mac, so it would kind of match us, but at the same time, the TLX is just a bad man pajama in terms of trucks. Mia loves it. Good to see you in the chat, my friend. Run Escape, good to see you. Dylan, good to see you. Lucas says, I vote for man. Nice. We could get in that man truck. Oh, easy does it. Oh, darn it. We need a crop destruction counter as well. That'll be a different one. Different counter made for that as well. Oh, goodness. All right, I'll put this guy right here. He should be able to grab most of that. Realistic issues. <laughs> That's fair, Mike. That's fair. All right, while this unloads, and while you guys are thinking your final thoughts about what truck we're going to get, I'm going to grab another cup of coffee. It'll take me 30 seconds here, if that. All right, I'm back. Super easy, super easy does it, super easy. You guys are so close in terms of TLX versus the Mac. Oh my goodness. 70 votes, make sure you guys vote, either the Mac truck or the TLX Phoenix. Make sure you guys vote on those. Gosh, we might just have to get both of them. Um, but to be fair, that'd be fine as well. All right, we'll drive this guy back. Actually, yeah, we'll just wanna go around the outside, probably be a little bit quicker. We'll take this guy back up over to our silo and get it unloaded. Old as gold or gray. <laughs> Dances with crack gosh. <laughs> uh, Apple dudes, I'm doing good today, my friend. I hope you're doing good. Gator says, support the small brand. Go with Lizard. <laughs> Gator, I love it. Uh, Norwegian says, hello, just joined. What we doing? Uh, Norwegian, we're getting our harvest done and we're slowly building our farm up. We're just spending all of our money right now is kind of what we're trying to do. Well, yeah, Gary John, go get yourself a cup of coffee, my friend. You got to have it. got to have that coffee. Coffee's, coffee is life, the life essence right there. Yas, let's get rid of the TLX. <laughs> oh, goodness. You guys are neck and neck on that pole. Oh, we just smacked into the barn there. We'll probably end up just getting both the trucks, to be completely honest. Try them both out. There we go. Nope, there we go. We will get it unloaded eventually. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And off that goes into there. All right. So you guys are pretty set, dead set on your Phoenix right now. Um, let's go ahead and we'll end the poll. You guys are pretty dead set on your Phoenix. You guys are pretty close though, to be fair. Literally, you're, I think only one vote or two votes one way or the other would have changed it up there. So, um, I mean, this goes 650. 650 though. Holy smokes. All right, we'll do the old Mack truck to start. Actually, we'll probably just buy both of them, to be honest. We could probably use both of them. I really like... We need to have the dual exhaust, of course. Uh, yeah, we need the bigger engine. Uh, we don't need GPS on the truck. I think maybe like a... Yeah, I think kind of like that there. And then do like... Yeah, I kind of like that red stripe on there. I really like the look at that truck right there. Okay, that's nice. Um, yeah, I think we'll get that. 61 grand. We'll buy that. I voted jerking. Good to see you. Good to see you, Marty. Good to see you, my friend. And then we'll do... Uh, they're all 82119. 
yeah, we'll just get, it doesn't really matter to me which truck we get here. Um, honestly, we could use another truck as well. We don't need the rigid. The standard, we don't need anything special about it. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do standard there. Lighting. Yeah, as much lighting as possible is great. That's stock. All that's good. U.S. style exhaust. Is there like a dual exhaust in there? There we go. Okay. Uh, ooh, the straight pipe. Yeah, we'll do that. 850 is a little probably too unrealistic for us. And that's a little bit more expensive. We'll just do that one right there for now. If we need to bump it up, we can. And then, oh, we can do any color, which is really nice actually as well. That is one advantage to the TLX here. No, that's too, that's too insane there. I don't mind doing a blue. I kind of like that aged red though. I really kind of like that. We don't have any vinyls on there, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, buy that bad boy right there. Perfect. For every side vote of Mac, my heart really says Peterbilt. That's fair, that's fair. I can understand that. All right, this guy is unloaded. Let's go get this guy back over near the field. Because honestly, we're going to need more trucks anyways. Um, because we're going to have more trailers and more stuff to do and stuff like that. So we're going to need them. We're going to need them. All right, that guy's going to work his way around to us, probably. Um, where are we at? I'm lost. Here we are. Here's our farm. Okay. Let's run back over here to these guys. Um, for that, the tanker, let's go ahead and hook up the Mac. And we need to go somewhere and buy some herbicide. All right, so if we look at a map here, lab on a bin, spinnery, uh, it's anhydrous. We don't need anhydrous. Well, where can we? Let's go to our, here. Actually, it should show us in here if we go down to liquid, fertile, or excuse me, herbicide. Solid. Where's herbicide? Herbicide. Oh, no selling points or buy point looks like available. All right. Well, let's go ahead and. Hmm. Do we have one installed? I wonder. Um. Container. We don't have a. There should be a buy point. Let's go to... Won't be under sell points, right? No, that'll be just sell points there. Um, farm silo. Maybe it's under... Oh, maybe it's under tools. I can't remember. I can't remember where they're at. They're probably under a container, actually. Um, buying station. There we go. Okay. Buying station right here. We will put this somewhere else. I think we'll put it up here in town, probably. That was the oh, that was the, did we crash? What did we crash? Okay, we'll throw one on there. I don't know what we did, but I believe it. That's all I know. All I know is we probably did it. Uh, where am I going? Okay, let's go to where. Maybe I just go up there first. This little town area right here. This can have the buy point. Um, container. Okay, this, yeah, this can have the buy point somewhere in this town. Maybe like, um, yeah, like, I don't know, maybe in this little area right here. Not a bad area. We could do a little work in here. I know we got to pay for it, but that's fine. Get some gravel going up over there to that. Yeah, something like that. And then we, there's probably not really a way we can go out of there. But yeah, we can do that and kind of have a big area for turning around down in here. Yeah, that's our little buy point now. I'm hoping that that will actually accept what we need to buy. So we come down to here. Let's actually go out the entrance or the exit here. I do, Yas. I installed it because I might use it for forestry work if we need to. Um, how's our harvester doing? I should check on him real quick. 
Working his way. Oh, where is he driving? He's probably just driving somewhere to do something, I guess. I don't know what he's doing. Sometimes the... You guys know the workers have a mind of their own, even when they're on course play. Uh, so Voltage, I'm not sure what happened to it. It did get removed from Mod Hub, so I'm not sure when it'll come back or if it will come back. But hopefully at some point it does end up coming back. Because um, I, I mean, obviously did a, a video on it, and I think it was a really good mod. I did not do that corner very well. But you can see, just we're not driving that far, and this is a, a distance, it seems like. And actually, I think that's a BGA right there. Right there on the left-hand side, is that not a BGA in this chunk of land? How much is that to buy? 473? That's got to be a BGA right over there. We might stop by that, just take a look here. Oh, copy that, Yoss. Uh, yeah, I won't mention any plans. Dr. Rick, good to see you, my friend Mike, good to see you. Andrew, good to see you, says you guys are making me want to make more coffee. Yeah, go get some more coffee, brother. You gotta have some. Yeah, so it's right here in this chunk of land. 473 might just be cheaper for us to build our own. So in terms of, um, yeah, 473, good, great. Oh, it's actually 33% off right now, so I do have the variable land deal here. It's 473, let's go ahead and buy that. And we're gonna buy it eventually anyways, and that's a screaming deal for it. Does that make a BGA show up? Yeah. Does that show up in our... Okay, we now own a BGA because we wanted to do that to make Digestate. So now we can actually do what we need to do, which is a really good plan, I think. Um, there's some water there. That's a really nice looking BGA, actually. I like that. And make sure you guys check out the new merch. There's some limited edition merch on there if you hit that link in there. Matthew Games, good to see you. Good to have you joining us. And Origin says bye, bye, bye. It's all right. Okay, sounds good, Yas. If not, I'm not too worried about it. The worst Bigfoot. There's no Bigfoot on here. We had decided that we'd do this map because I think uh, I did Griffin Indiana already, and I, I'm always trying to play on different maps and do different things. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of play on this and do something a little bit different in terms of maps and stuff like that. But yeah, Gators is coffee, everyone. There you go. Uh, I haven't played a, like any. I haven't played extensively on Walker Farms, to be fair, but I've heard good things about it. All right, this should work. No, we're getting water. No. This just gives me water? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, it just gives water. Oh, just the worst possible thing. Oh, no. Just the worst. Just the worst. Um, okay, I don't think we have a... All right, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to put... Um, we're gonna have to put a, some sort of, we, so we need to get one of those in here and probably maybe some different uh, repair mods, I think would be helpful. So let's go up here to where's this guy at? Oh, no, I didn't want to stop him. Well, that doesn't matter, we just did. Okay, we're gonna stop him in a second anyways. All right, let's go to the course play menu for his track. Um, course play, let's save the course he's on. Oh, whoops, back, hold on, hold on a second. How do I get this to open up again? There we go. Okay. Um, this course. Let's see the whole thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and... No. Hold on. Cancel. I want to save this thing. I can't remember how to do it now. Um, change mode. Nope. Change mode. Um, save course. Activate. Did that save it? Gosh, what am I doing wrong? I did it before. <laughs> Change mode. Uh, oh, that's right. Rename entry. No, wait. I have to add. I have to somehow add an entry in here. Uh, oh gosh, create new folder. There we go. Uh, um, harvesting. Okay. Save course. Activate. Wait, no. Maybe go into there. Course name. Uh, what field are we on, actually? This is field 361. Okay, let's go back into that menu. Course play. Um, harvest 361 grain. There we go. Okay, saved. Beautiful. We did it. It took me forever. Uh, it makes us don't talk about big. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it caught the voice banks. That's cracking up. I can hear it now. Oh, gosh. Okay. So what we're gonna do real quick here, uh, we're gonna go down, we're gonna save our game. It's gonna take it a hot second, it's a big map. That's right, Semper Buffo, make sure you get those limited edition K-Bot merches. They're awesome, they're awesome, my friend. 
<laughs> whatever you ask. Uh, yeah, it should ship to South Africa for you, uh, Franz, Franz von Fritz. It should do that for you. Um, we're going to quit out of here. We're going to go back to the menu because we need a couple things here. So I actually want to install that one that came out recently. It should still be in latest. Um, I think. Nope, never mind. It's not in latest anymore. Okay. Uh, let's go to here. Um, is it under containers? Yeah, field workstation. This is the one I want. Okay, because there's one that does a discount, and I'll do, we'll use that one because we're going to buy a lot of stuff from them. And then da -da -da, we need some repair triggers. So let's go to simulator gameplay. I don't think so. It's going to be under. I don't know, actually. Um, let's just do that. Those are kind of cool. I kind of like those. Um, workshop triggers that we want. We'll workshop. I do have the trailer installed, actually. Small traditional one. I kind of like these. These are kind of decorative. We'll put that one in there, and then we'll also put this one in there. Okay, and then once those are... I did update that, but apparently did not want to update for me. Um, let's let these download real quick, and then we'll go back in. Oh, uh, yeah. Should all ship to South Africa. Sim Squad says, what's the end game on this series? Uh, Sim Squad, I'm not sure. We're just trying to get a big farm going. Obviously, I would like to pay back our loan, and I would like to have a really solid stream of income. I would like to see us make, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 million dollars on crops on this series. I think that would be very doable and very cool if we did that. So that's the plan, I think. There we go. Okay. Let's go back into here. And let that load in. It might take it a hot second here, but yeah. Does all the rooms include bread? <laughs> Gosh. Gosh, babes. No throwing bread at people. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the series. I think it's going to be a good series. I think we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. I'm, I'm excited to get on here and do a lot of big harvests. Obviously, we're just starting out. We only have one harvester right now. I mean, we're going to get... I mean, we're going to get as many harvesters as we can get. Is there a limit? I don't think there is. Is there a limit to how many workers you can have on PC? I don't think there is. As long as your PC can run it, of course. Jaden, good to see you, my friend. But uh, yes, I think we can do that just fine. But yeah, we'll take that corn. We'll make it silage. Um, we should be able to harvest it now, actually, if we wanted to. But uh, we should be able to do that. Uh, maybe if this will load here, come on, you can do it. 65%, you can do it. I believe in you. I broke it now. It's probably never load again. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Perfect, Marty. J Bots just throws bread at Marty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you get a free FC cake on your pillow. Fantastic. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, back in here. Let's go ahead and it's going to put me up not where I want to be. But let's go back over to this guy. And, oh, it's still loading into his course, which is great. I thought it probably would do that, but I just wanted to make sure. Let's do uh, nearest waypoint. Have him start. Let's start working on doing that harvest again for us. Um, and then what we can do is we can hop back over to... Oh, no, we need to go back up over here where our truck's at. Um, we can sell this guy off. And then we can put under... Yeah, here we go. 25%. That's the free one. Okay, we don't want the free one. There we go. Okay, and we don't need the course play menu for this guy. Um, let's go ahead and empty out what he's got in his trailer. Um, let's just empty. There we go. And anhydrous is an option on here. We may do some anhydrous later, but we're not going to start off doing it for now because I'm not sure how it's going to interact with um, precision farming. Oh, beautiful. Herbicide's what we need. Let's yeah, start loading that up. We'll get a full load of herbicide, put it in that silo. Course play is going to be a big factor, possibly a hassle. Well, we'll see how it goes, Flex. Hopefully, it helps us more than it hurts us. Uh, Jaden, I probably won't get horses on this map. I thought about doing cows, but cows are a lot of work. Um, we might at some point, um, if we need more material, I would say, for what we got going on. But we're not going to do dairy cows. We could actually do some beef cows. Actually, that would be a really good idea if we did some of that. But we're no, we're no place right now to do um cows just starting off we need to get our we need to get our finances rolling we need to decide everything we want on the that was only 36 grand for that it's not a bad deal actually a screaming deal you can do it now the mac truck's like oh yeah there's a lot of weight behind me now gamer boy for life says hello how are you doing i'm doing good my friend hope you're doing good 
Uh, we're going to do our first giveaway in, well, in eight minutes, we're going to go to members only chat for 10 minutes. And after we come back from members only chat, we'll do our first giveaway, which is going to be a Vermeer pack for you guys. All right. We'll make it back. Harley Quinn, good to see you with the $50 super chat. I freaking miss you, Fargo. I miss you too, Harley Quinn. It's good to have you in the chat. I missed you. I haven't seen, I was actually wondering that the other day. I was like, I haven't seen Harley Quinn around. Well, Harley Quinn, welcome into the chat, my friend. It is good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hope everything is good for you. I'm lost right now. Are we going the right way? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we just turned here. We didn't go, we went the long way for sure. But if we turn here, everything should be better. Uh, we're just going to cut that corner. Don't mind me. It's all good. Um, if we did do cow's yas, honestly, we'd probably just feed them hay. Just to save us the time. Because I think that would just be easier for us. Because hay is 80% effective, so that'd be fine. Um, and then we wouldn't give them straw, because we want slurry. Because we want slurry to do our slurry spreading. Alright. We're making it now. We're making it. Slow but sure. It's a little abandoned farm here, it looks like. There we go. Full speed ahead. We're doing good. Oh, you've been lurking in the shadows. Nice, nice. Well, it's good to have you out of the shadows and in the in the, in the chat here, Harley Quinn. Oh, Flix, we could do a pig farm. Pig, foods, pig feed, though, the problem is a little bit more difficult to come by. We could do that, though. I mean, that's not a bad idea. I haven't done pigs a lot, so maybe we'll do a little bit. We could do a little bit of each, honestly. They're not that hard to do. I know I just said they're super hard to do, but they're not really that hard. It's just me being dramatic. Oh, don't, don't tip. <laughs> that was close. All right, our harvester is full. We'll get him unloaded here in a second. Let's just, uh, actually, we'll stop for a second. We'll get this guy after. Holy cow. Yep, the brakes on those those bad boys are not great. All right, where is the harvester at? If we zoom in down here, all the way down the bottom of the field. Perfect. We can head down there and get that taken care of. <laughs> Copy that, Harley Quinn. Well, you're not harassing me. You're always welcome in here. Oh, goodness. Uh, one or two, three, four, four, three, five. Say Farm and Cop. I love your videos, and I've recommended you to more than 100 people, and all of them subscribe. Please see this and say hi. Winner, I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm glad you enjoy what we got going on. Rick Rube, welcome to Officer, my friend. Good to have you as a member on the channel. We've got 11 new members today. If you guys are interested in being a member down below, you should be able to hit that join button if you want to join us. In five minutes, we're going to go into members only chat for 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes of members only chat, we'll bring everyone back in and do a giveaway. Oh, awesome, got a burn. That's awesome. Yeah, it's enjoyable if you like using big equipment. That makes sense. Yeah, you definitely have to use big equipment on here. Um, yeah, that's for sure. No, I don't want... Stop wall unloading. Stop in the name of the law. I don't know. What are you doing? Uh, uh, we got to adjust the course place settings. Uh, what am I going into there for that? Uh, okay. Uh, where are we at? It's course play... Uh, tool save, basic settings, common settings, stop one loading. Activated. There we go. All right. We'll chase him down again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now let's try that again. Oh. Alex says, hey, Farmer Cop. I, uh, I don't get to catch your live streams too often, but I hope you're doing good and staying safe. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. It's good to have you here. Glad you could catch this one, my friend. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the Farmer Cop channel. Where are you going, buddy? Easy there. You need to be unloaded. You went right there to be unloaded. You drove into the trees to be unloaded. you got to be kidding me. Who is this guy? Oh, Luke West, the farmer's guy streaming? Awesome. I try not to stream when he streams, but I didn't know he was streaming right now. Whoops. It happens, though. It happens. All right, let's go ahead and back into here a little bit. Okay, please don't get caught. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Right in the trees. It's okay, he crashed. I didn't crash, so everything's fine. I wasn't the one that crashed. I was not the one that crashed, so. Um, yeah, I would see Chief Trench the harvester by walking for Yeah, <laughs> That's, uh, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ninja66, good to see you, my friend. Good to have you joining us. Yeah, we'll get this done here. Three minutes, C minus three minutes, the members only chat, and then we're gonna do a giveaway after that. We're working our way down down that, that route there. Well, this guy's unloading since he should just start up working again. Let's get this guy pulled into here. Let's have, no, I don't think we need open covers or anything special on this. Yeah, that's a good, this is a good looking trailer. I think Mr. Silly P used it on his Wild West series. Um, well, I guess that series is still going. I've been watching it still, but yeah. So I think that's where I saw this. 
working. Yeah, we'll put that herbicide in here. And then in terms of where we're going to park our trucks, uh, we might need to get another shed for them or something. Jaden, I agree we should do that at some point. I think that would be a good way to go about it. We will as we start doing some massive harvest. I think that'll be good. Marty stopped now. I just thought about that phrase the other day and how long it's been since I heard that. <laughs> oh, Marty. Oh, Marty. I think we'll just pull him around. I think we'll just pull the trucks around the side here. I think that'll be a fine spot for him. We do need to buy... So what the other truck is going to haul is going to be our actual, like, grain, grain bin. 40,000 already. We're doing good. Or actual grain bin of sorts, if that makes sense. Or grain trailer. Yeah, I can't talk. There's where I destroyed the crops last time. Let's try not to destroy them this time. Um, okay, here we go. We'll get this up, get this unloaded. Vicariously liable says crash counts as your crash as he employed him. Oh gosh, darn it. I'm vicariously liable for his mistakes. Uh, NC Farmer, we're not going to finish the New Jersey series just because we, it wasn't super popular and we felt that, or that with polling and stuff like that, we felt that this was a better use of our time was to do a different series. Uh, Sims God, what video did he mention me in? Was it a recent one? I know he's mentioned me in a couple of videos. I do try to watch him uh, as much as possible, but um, yeah. I do like Mr. Sleepy. Oh gosh, we're coming in way too hot. Just slamming the brakes right now. Oh gosh, that truck is not good on the old braking. Yep, let's back up seven miles an hour. <laughs> Slow but sure. Fingers being Marty McFly. Gowan says, Farmer Cup. Oh, no, Mr. Sleepy has moved on to Griffin. Oh, has he? His Western Wild series was awesome. Yes, I agree. It was fantastic. I, I See, and I thought about doing Griffin, Indiana, but I know there's going to be a lot of other YouTubers that are going to do series on that map, as much as I love it. So I didn't want to have to, you know, I, I felt like I wanted to bring something different um, to... <laughs> you can never pronounce your name. Nice, <laughs> guys. <laughs> so I felt like I wanted to bring something different to the table, and that's why I kind of chose to do this um, instead, a different map, but just entirely. We may use this guy this series as well. Mm -hmm. We could do some some hay baling. Um, okay, anyhow, we need to... Actually, this might be the easiest way to do this. We go down here and hit combinations. It'll show me all the trailers. We need a good 75. That's a good one there, right there. I thought I had shorted, sorted... I can't talk. Sorted a shop in here. Maybe I don't. Yeah, that's, a, that's the biggest capacity. No, it's not showing me all the trailers I have installed. So let's go back into here. Let's go into trailers. I know I've got some more trailers in that. Some auto loads in there. The TLX is another uh, trailer I thought about using for our other one, but I, I decided not to because we I haven't used that other um, liquid trailer before, so I wanted to change it up. Um, oh, this could go to the back of our other trailer. This actually might be a good one to have on the back of that guy. We're not going to buy it right now, but that's a good one. 35,000, uh, 48,000. See, we need some big stuff. The Trans 70 is a great trailer too. Um, 16,000, 40,000, 37, 37, but these ones can get tied together. So that would be a pretty good setup there. The tipper, this one, I believe you can do, I believe you can do a rear hitch attachers. Yeah. Rear hitch. So this one's, so you can, you can link these guys together as well. 83,000 liters at a time. Um, these guys do really good as well. And you can link these ones together, I believe as well. If we go down here, go to. Um, where's rear hitch? Uh, should be an option to add that on the back. Uh, if you single tank, yeah, single tank does more. Um, large side decals, beacon lights, twin wheels. Does it just have one? Actually, I think it just has one. Yeah, it just has one on there. So we might do a couple of these guys. Um, I like the logistics. Mm, maybe we'll do... Yeah, just maybe that, just large, main color. No, what should we do? Dude, that actually looks pretty good, I like that. Okay, rim color, we'll do... No, maybe we should do like more like a silver. Chrome, dark gray, yeah, we'll do that, okay. So this guy will be pretty good. Now, can we change... I'd like to do no steering. Uh, the steering is helpful. I wish we could do, is there triples anywhere? No, let's just go back to, I don't think there's triples in here. Trailer board, sorry I'm ignoring the chat. 
Sim Squad says, Farmer, I believe it was first or second Griffin. F oh, gotcha. Copy that. Well, thank you. I will go to make sure I check those out. Um, okay. Yeah, I think this looks good. Um, we don't really care about that too much. Um, single tank, trailer board, and it does do the steering function, which is good. How do those wheels look? I actually want some road wheels on this thing. Yeah, I like that better. That's much better. Um, okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and buy ourselves. I think two to start will probably be good. Um, then we'll get ourselves a dolly because there should be a dolly that came with that pack. Mm, maybe not, but the TLX dolly I think will work really good for us. Let's do, we don't need any decals. Um, there should be something to extend it. There at least there used to be. No, we don't need that. The Continentals look pretty good on there. All right, we'll try that. This guy, how's our harvester's not ready yet? Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh, that's right. Sorry, it is members only chat time. We'll do members only chat for ten minutes, and then we'll bring everyone back in to do a giveaway. And that's how we're gonna roll today. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel. We got JBot Gaming in, and so far in the members only chat. Park you up over here while he's working on doing whatever he's doing. Let's go up to this screen. Yeah, he's making, he's working his way across there, so he's making some progress. I mean, we're getting so much off of this field, to be completely honest. I mean, this field is massive. It's absolutely incredibly massive. Let's try to get in. I mean, that'll work for now. We'll top over here. Top in. Actually, I'm going to hop in this guy first. The reason being, this will be easier to hook up the... Where are the donuts coming? <laughs> this will be easier to hook the dolly up with a tractor as opposed to trying to back the trailer up into it. Ooh, there we go. Oh, nope, not quite. There we go. We got Marty, Jaden, Mr. Pickle, and Yaw so far members only chat. Let's go ahead and back you up a little further to hopefully make this easier for the truck to back up and hook you up. Yeah, that'll work there. Nope, oh, hook that up. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then we can grab this to get this out of the way now. I think that'll be fine. Rabbit RSA and Kenneth, good to see you guys in the members only chat as well. And welcome to all new members as well, because we got 10 new members, or 11 new members this, this stream, sorry. 11 new members that are on here, which is awesome. That's super cool. Not Marty, I'm just here for the silly string. Nice. <laughs> nice, fantastic. Alright, put some herbicide in this bad boy. And then honestly, this guy can just... You might as well just hang out in this shed. We don't have another sprayer right now. He might as well just chill in there. I'll get him out of the way. And we'll get these guys hooked up. Here we go, and hopefully... So far my backing up is not great. <laughs> Please hook up, there we go, yes! There we go! Lloyd Manley, welcome to Sergeant, my friend. Good to have you in the chat. Desk pops are already going off. Beautiful, beautiful work, everyone. Look at that exhaust. That exhaust looks fantastic. All right, there we go. Let's pull this guy over off to the side. We'll actually pull him maybe over here. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of probably should do him on the probably should have done him on the gravel, but that's okay. What's the string of Marty's? <laughs> oh, good heavens! Now the other thing we need, so our, our cedar is a direct drill, right? He's a direct drill. So actually, we do we need any other direct drill, right? Yeah. This cedar offers ability to direct drill. Okay. So I probably can have him go just sit on the cedar for now. Actually, the trucks probably can go in that one shed, because I don't think we have a whole lot else we need to put in here. We just got the harvesters got to go in here. The header will have to go outside because it ain't going to fit, but... Okay, yeah, so we'll do that. Okay, 
So we need to buy as well. So we need something to spread lime as well. And I probably want its own tractor to do that as well. Um, should we get a larger one for this maybe? Maybe a medium tractor would do just fine. Like a large, larger end medium tractor there. 227. I haven't used a lot of uh, New Holland. I haven't used a, like a lot of McCormick's either, but I kind of like the look of that John Deere. Let's see what else we got. Large tractors. Rabbit RSA member for nine months. The string glue behind you helps with <laughs> That makes sense, Rabbit. We'll get that thing set up, don't you worry. We might actually grab an 8R to do it. I think that would be good. Um, let's do maybe... Ooh, I like those. Those look legit. Woo, look at those babies. Let's do those right there. Okay, front weight. Yeah, we'll put uh, maybe a front hydraulic on there. Beacon light, sure. Um, no, 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 no. Bigger engine for sure. GPS, yes, right there. That's going to be our Lyman tractor. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to need to buy ourselves a Lyman spreader. Always, it's all going to be for naught. Oops, say nope. There we go. Okay. Oh, we could have done one of these for lime spread in two, actually. But that's okay. We're kind of committed to this now, at least for now. So, yeah, we could have done that route. That would have been a good route, actually. You know what? Yeah, we'll we'll keep with what we got going on. Bigger unit. Um honestly, you can have wide tires. Extension. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, there we go. Buy a JCB. We could get a JCB, actually. Um all right, this will be our lime spreading. Oh, the harvester needs to be unloaded. Just saw that pop up. Let's go get him unloaded real quick. It's going to be just down the bottom. Yeah, down here. If we turn this way. RPG. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Jaden, we do have the big buds installed, so we could. Use, we probably will end up using those at some point. Darren Duell, good to see us. This is HIA Chief. I'm sending hello from Germany. Can you say hi to my coworkers, Laura and Edda? Ed Edda? Adida? Adida? Did I say that right? Laura, hello, and Adida? I hope I said that right. If I did, I probably did, but Darren Duel correct me. Good to see you, Darren Duel. Hope you're doing good, brother. Don't you try to go anywhere, Harvester. I have you said to stop when I'm unloading you. There we go. Okay. No! How dare you? What? What in the world? Stop in the name of the law again. How could you... Do you stop while unloading? Ah! Oh, I can't... How can I change it more for you? I don't even know what to do anymore. I know it needs to be unloaded because he ran away from me. Uh oh lordy. Okay, there. He didn't put his header down this time, so maybe he's not going to drive away this time. What a weird thing to do to me. Alright, there we go. No! Stop it! Stop it! How dare you? Okay, we just got to follow him. If he's going to play this game with us, we're going to play this game with him. What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is that close enough? Gosh, that header is so big. Got to be like right next to that that heart header right there in order to get that pipe in there. Oh boy! Stop the name. That's right, Mark. Stop the name. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Daredevil. Have a good day at work, my friend. Thanks for popping in here. Horseplay is broken. Perfect news for me. Darn you, horseplay. Curse you, horseplay. Is this Jane Sting? Stop. No, that's all right. Uh, all right, we're just going to have to pull in front of his header secretly. You can't move until I unload you. Gotcha. <laughs> the book at that. Throw the book at that guy. That's right, Bergman. <laughs> Gosh. All right, we're full. Let's take this load back to the farm. <laughs> oh, what a horrific, horrific thing. We have so much left to harvest. We might be buying a new harvester immediately just to help out. I mean, good heavens. There is so much to harvest. We're going to do that with a 60-foot header. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Mark, you become uncomfortable. <laughs> Gosh. 
Oh, goodness. All right. It's almost giveaway time. For giveaway time, after I put a start in the chat, all you have to do is put a comment in there. I'll make sure that we are in the ability for everyone to chat before we do that, so don't worry. Everyone will be able to engage in it. Ooh, we got to start slamming on the brakes now. Well, definitely a little too far for sure. Or a lot of too far, but that's okay. Sort of need to start from scratch, and the... First game day store in the used sale equipment, the case quad track row crop for 237. That's pretty good. I mean, if you can use it, I would say buy it. But if you can't use it, I mean, don't buy it unless you can use it. So there is that. All right, we'll put that in there. We are doing really good off this harvest. A lot better than I thought we'd do. We're going to make some good cash. Let's get this guy hooked up here. I love those tires. Gosh, those look legit on that thing. They're so big. I love them. Big old chunky tires are there. Uh, William Rose, we're giving away a Vermeer pack once we bring everyone back in here, which actually it's about time time right now to bring everyone back in, I believe. Let's go grab our lime for this bad boy. All right, well, who doesn't want to open covers? That's perfect. Um, it's not helpful. It's gonna be doing one of those things where it's not gonna open covers, is it? It's not gonna let me fill it then. Okay, we might have to just do something different. I don't know why this one's not letting me open the cover. Oh, is Z to open the cover? Of course. I had to guess the right uh I had to guess the right thing. Never mind. It's just me, everyone. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Alright, let's bring everyone back in. Uh anyone can chat. Um Welcome back, everyone, and then we'll do a start here soon for starting the giveaway. And if you don't need it, don't comment, and it is a PC-only code that we're giving away here. Let me get my random number generator pulled up. All right, there we go. All right, and then start. Let's go ahead and just roll with it. Yeah, OIF8239, I really like this map as well. This is a really good map. Okay, there we go. We'll close that cover back up. Oh, nope, sorry. Z, hit the right button here. Yachts end. Get out of here, Yachts. You're going to confuse people. Oh, goodness. All right, pull this guy in right here. Jeff T, good to see you, my friend. Good to have you joining us. All right, let's see who our winner is going to be here. Rabbit RSA, you are the winner, my friend. And if you don't want it, let me know. We'll do a reroll. But you are currently the winner. There we go. Cornell Valley. So I'm not sure, but the new update uh, makes some problem with the mods. That could be it too, yeah. But that's okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We were able to figure it out. It was that time. It was user error for sure. Um, but yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> Oh, Goss is the king of confusion. He is for sure. Can I trade the code for a coffee cup? <laughs> you know what? Rabbit R say for you, my friend. Absolutely. For you, I'll let you trade it for a coffee cup. I'll write it down. Rabbit RSA coffee mug. Do you want one of the uh, K-Bot ones or do you want one of the Farmer Cop ones? <laughs> Just message me which one you want and your address and I'll ship one to you, my friend. Oh, goodness. Well, Rabbit RSA, if you want a coffee cup, I'll do that for you. If you want that instead, I'll do that. I'll do that since you won. All right, this guy's done. Let's get him out of the way. Uh, Ninja 66, so far not great because I haven't really finished up doing it all, but. Oh, that's right, Rabbit RSA. I forgot about that. Yeah, you have all that. Yeah, you let me know if you want a coffee mug. I'll send you a coffee mug. Nope, no big deal. No questions asked. Um, okay. Um, we need to buy. Our next purchase needs to be a forage harvester. This is us building our $10 million farm, folks. We are buying a lot of junk. I would like to do cotton too with this guy at some point, because this thing is legit looking. I would love to use that thing. That thing looks amazing. Okay, slurry tanks. I forgot there's these guys in here. Um, we should have the saddle track actually in here as well. Is it just a tractor? Where is, let's go down to our packs here of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this guy right here. Okay, so yeah, we do have that. We might end up using that. 30,000 liters is pretty good. 
Uh, okay, but let's go back to we need a forage harvester. Um, 970, 1156. We might go like all out big kernel. Well, we have a lot of John Deere stuff and it kind of matches more what we're at in America. So we might actually use, we'll use the modded version here. Long pipe, do wide tires. Uh, we'll do LED beacons, big engine, GPS for sure. And we'll leave all that stuff alone there. Maybe, um, oh yeah, I like that a little bit better. Design color. Yeah, I like that a little better. It kind of blends a little bit better. I don't know, the design, it's got to be yellow. It just kind of looks more John Deere that way. But the rims we can change, I think. Uh, Morgan the Deere says, geez, you had a like spike. <laughs> okay, we need more coffee. Coffee's important. Let's go ahead and buy this. I didn't buy this yet, right? I don't think I did. Well, if we did, we bought two of them. I just have one. Okay, good. We did the right thing. All right, I need more coffee. I'll be right back in just half a second here. All right, we're back. Easy peasy, just need coffee. I had to check my phone real quick. My sergeant may have texted me. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, what else we got going on? He's almost full, or is he full? Looks like he's about to be full. Let's go ahead and head down there and get ready to unload him. So if he's not full now, he's about to be. And we cannot afford to have him not working. This is with Marty Nice. Yeah, more than the year. We've got a lot of John Deere equipment for how uh, how we're doing. We got a John Deere harvester, a John Deere forage harvester, and we got ourselves a John Deere tractor even. Well, I mean, he's not going to let us unload anyway, so we might as well start. There we go. Yeah, stop and hurry unload apparently is broken. <laughs> Don't go get a forage header. We need to get one. We got to have a forage header. Yeah, we'll do. That's a good idea, actually. More than you're free one that's stopping in now and doesn't know what equipment we have. We'll do a quick equipment tour here as well. And we also need to actually look at the status of the fields that we just bought. Because we just bought another chunk of land as well. So we need to take a look at that. We are down to 4 million, though. So our money is starting to go down there pretty good. But we're doing good. We already checked sales. There was nothing we needed in there, at least right now. Uh, Berman, that's that is my poison as well as coffee. He says, as a truck driver, I live on coffee. Yes, I live on coffee as well. So I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Gotta be very cautious here. No crashing, no crashing. Easy does it. Oh, it's Miller. Go, go, go. Almost done. And 97, 98, 99. Boom. All right. You keep harvesting. We'll go take this back. Put that cover on. I think it'll probably be faster if we just head out here to the main road. There's my exercise in the night, Marty. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's too funny, Marty. I'm hoping we get our environmental score up, too, before we do anything super crazy. I don't think we could probably harvest this uh, corn yet. I don't think it's quite where it needs to be for forage harvester readiness. I think it needs one more growth state. But that's fine. We can wait for that to happen. Still not good about stopping this on time. And then in terms of, let's get this unloading here real quick. Powell says, hey, Farmer Cap, first time I count on your live streams. Well, good to have you, my friend. And Scott, good to see you as well. Uh, Scott, it's the most recent one that's on the Mod Hub. It's the Mod Hub one, most recent one that's on there, because I just downloaded it the other day. Uh, okay, he's working. He's still so much left to do. Uh, we might buy another harvester, and we might start working on getting some of this done here in a second. Now, we just bought this field up here, so let's see what we got up here. Field seven, what do we got growing in there? Um, do we need this? We probably should have that on there. We don't need any of the other things, but probably should have that. Um, oh, we have cotton? No freaking way. We can buy a cotton harvester right now. We can justify it. <laughs> Apparently. Um, let's go uh, to here. How is this growing? Yes, that's not quite ready. It's gotta be more darker green before it's ready to go. And then over there we have sugar beets. So the sugar beets, we'll probably have to lease. I mean, we'll have to lease something to do it, but I think 
will our Okay, our sil this will take sugar beets cut. So what we might do as well, I got some ideas now. Oh, is this full? No spare capacity for canola? What? Can it only hold a little bit of each one? What in the world? That is not good. We might need some more silos immediately. Oh, there we go. Now it's taken. It looks like it took a little more that time. Maybe it got moved somehow. Yeah, there we go. Maybe it was, for whatever reason, wasn't under the silo, because it should still keep taking it. There we go. Okay, thank goodness. I was really worried about that. But we got that squared away. Get the big... Yeah, we'll get the big uh, harvester for sure. Oh, sorry. I forgot about the equipment tour. So, so far, what we have? Medium tractors. This guy, which is pulling this guy right here. That's why we have him. Large tractors. This guy and this guy. This guy is pulling our, where's he at? Lime spreader right here. And then this guy right here is for our cedar. So we got a big old seed hawk here. And then in addition to that, trucks. We've got a couple of trucks here. This one is pulling our grain tanks. And this one's pulling our liquid tank. This guy is kind of our field truck here. And then we have big old harvester, John Deere S690. And then we have a forage harvester, big old John Deere 9900. A couple of grain trailers here, 110,000 liters each. Big old Dura 60 foot header. Um, we got a couple of belts for our silos, a dolly, and then we also have this guy right here, the tanker trailer. So that's what we got going. Uh, William Rhodes, I don't remember that. Do you, did you never get a code that worked and you want a giveaway? Is that what you're saying? Or what's this looking? Looking pretty good. We're getting some of this done. This is a big field. We need to expand this field out. It should be up over here too. We need to get a big old plow as well, I think. So once that's done, we can actually extend that field a little bit more. Park this guy here. Or did I park my bicycle? A Jabota John Deere, a Kubota John Deere series. Nice. That's kind of what we got going on. So our big old, uh, we need a big old plow. And I mean, to be fair, this one is kind of like a go-to, like this one is really good in terms of, well, this one or that one right there. Uh, 26 meters compared to like the 16.7. But this one's a little bit more realistic, and I think this is the one I actually want to use is the big old 2410. So we're going to buy this guy. And it'll look better with our John Deere equipment anyways. So we're going to use that guy to extend fields as needed. And then we also need to buy that cotton harvester because we have cotton that we're going to need to harvest. So we're going to get this guy. We need to get the big one. I mean, it's just, if we don't get it, it's going to be ridiculous. We're going to do a lot of cotton, I think. Um, so we'll do that. Get that guy picked up there. I know that was expensive. Um, but I think it'll be worth it. And that actually might be a production facility we get going as well, is uh, cotton production. So that actually legitimately might be a production we get going. I'm going to back this guy into the shed over here. Oop, nope, not too far. Just get it more straightened out. There we go. Okay. We need to get a header for this guy. So let's go over here to our forage harvester headers. Uh, there should be a big one that I installed, like a really big one. Um, 15 meters. I think 15 is going to be the biggest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By far. 15 meter header. We're going to get this guy right here. We need it to fit our John Deere. What is it? Unrealistic capacity. Oh, because it has a capacity then. Uh, we don't need it to have that. We can just do that. And then that should be able to do everything in terms of that. Now we need a trailer for all that to go into. Lizard Auger Master is a pretty good option for our silage. And 60,000, that's not terribly unrealistic or anything like that. Uh, maybe we get like a... That kind of looks like what it should look like for like doing chaff stuff. Um, uh, yeah, we can do a fill level light. That's fine. That all looks good. Trailer low, semi dolly. That's the big capacity, isn't it? Yeah. Um, trailer high. We might do the semi dolly and then just pull that. Well, I don't know. We probably don't need to do that. Trailer high is probably fine. Um, okay. And the rim color, we'll change that to maybe just like a black, jet black there. Okay. Yeah. We'll buy this guy because this guy does everything. Um, yeah. In terms of everything, yeah, it does every single product type there. So we'll use that. Uh, Sharp, I'm doing good, my friend. 
FT is 82 CS, yes, he is. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> oh, I turned it off. That was my bad. All right. So now we're down to 2.7 million. So our, our big old farm is coming together. We are running a, not low on cash, but we are spending a lot. But we have pretty much everything we need, quite honestly. There's not really anything else we really need. Um, there's some probably quality of life upgrades we could make at some point. I wish we could change that header color, but I mean, I'm not too bothered by it. Okay. And this setup right here. Actually, honestly, I'm going to change that to the dolly because I think the dolly will actually turn a little bit better than this setup here. And then I think we'll buy a dolly for it. I think that'll actually work a little bit better for us. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay, let's go over here. Let's customize. Let's do semi dolly. Higher capacity, and then in addition to that, if we buy ourselves an actual dolly to go with it, I think that'll actually be better at turning than what we've had, and that's absolutely fine, just like that. All right, let's go grab the dolly. Get sugarcane equipment, spend that money. No, we don't want to do any sugarcane on here, I don't think, because I'm not going to do it. There's only, I mean, there's unrealistic ways to do it, but I want to try to keep more realistic here. That's why I don't have, like, the real speed limit mod installed and stuff like that, so I don't, oh, no, that's not hooking up. To, oh, never just. I was like, oh, gosh. The dolly's not working, but it, it worked. Everything's fine. Everything's great. No need to panic, everyone. Okay, let's back this guy up here. Ooh, that was too hot on that corner. There we go. That was a pretty good back job. Here we go. Z to open cover. All right, beautiful. And we'll just pull this guy in the garage here. Though we do need to get some silage additive for it. Which we can do that in here. There's diesel canister. I didn't get the little silage additive canister. Which would have been probably smart to do. Uh, but this one's the liftable one. So we can do that. Probably two of those is probably fine. And then. we be able to move those. Yeah. So move on over here real quick to load this guy. Oop, don't throw it. Yeah, on the roof. That's right where I wanted it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see if we can get up there and grab it. No, darn it. Close. There we go. At least it's off the roof. There we go. 20 liters. Didn't take very much. Let's move this guy over this way. We'll just put it next to the building over here. To a mother bin? Oh, gosh. That would be so crazy if we had a mother bin. Oh, lordy, that would be out of control if we had a mother bin. FC's using my mods. What the farm? <laughs> Yas, you make good mods. I love your mods. I just don't always use them because I don't like you. No, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I love you, Yas. <laughs> uh, Jeff D, tons of stuff has changed for FS22, my friend. And Sharp 62, or what, 6251, we are on um, Spring Creek, North Dakota. That is what map we are on. Oh, our harvester needs to be unloaded. Let's get him unloaded because that is our current priority. Let's loop around here without driving into our neighbor's crops. There he is down there. Ooh, we missed a big chunk right there. That might actually be one I come back and hit on the way out. Hopefully he stops while I'm loading. I doubt it, but we'll try. You ought to get a room. <laughs> Take it easy, Norwegian. Thanks for being here, my friend. Yeah, he's going to start harvesting. Yeah, we know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do. It's fine. I should get my cruise control set up to do, what is it, six miles an hour? There we go. That way, at least, I can just set cruise control once we get her in a good spot, and then that's good to go. No Co Sim Farmer, good to have you joining us, my friend. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel. Oh, I lost our cruise control. There we go. Wait, FC said this is my more realistic series. That way you get a 45 foot header for a forge. Hey, okay, easy now, Morgan the Deer Man. <laughs> I didn't say it would be that realistic. <laughs> 
Don't judge me. <laughs> it's realistic by my standards. So <laughs> if that changes anything, it should. But that should change a few things. Oh, heavens. I do want to get rid of those trees there. Now, I might do something a little unrealistic in terms of getting rid of the tree. Well, actually, you no. Know, we could just chop them down. We could use Yas Yas's mobile utility mod to sell them. We might do that at some point. Um, I might do some stuff off camera for the series too, like just like meaningless tasks, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how we end up doing about it. Um, okay, back to the farm. Let's get this put into our silo that I thought was full, but it's actually not. Oops, start slamming on the brakes. I did a little sooner there, I think. Not really, okay. You rub the jobs with your hands your head. Oh gosh, yeah, take Yas out of here. It's fun using these conveyor belts. I actually really like these things. And these bins are pretty cheap for how much they hold, which is nice. Marty says, wait, you also makes mods. Gamer Case says, hey, FC, watching the first one in a while. Looking forward to this one. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you being here. It's good to see you. And I'm not streaming this Saturday. I wanted to stream this Saturday, but I can't stream this Saturday because I'm going to a wedding. So I'll be out of town this Saturday. But regardless of that, I wish I could stream. This thing does manure, too. I guess we could even take, if we had cows, we could take the slurry and make it into digestate and make some extra money off the top. Um, but regardless of that, yeah, we'll need some good digestate from that. And I might put like a digestate storage over here and it should actually distribute to there, which would be really nice for us. So yeah, I got a lot of plans for that. I think we need to save some of our money for some placeables and maybe some cows and stuff like that. Um, in terms of the future and everything like that. But uh, yeah, so, okay. Sugar beet cut. So we have sugar beets. We're gonna do a sugar beet harvest because we're gonna take those sugar beets and we're gonna use them. But what we need to do, I think, uh, I think this will help us out is um, this guy will cut the sugar beets up. It's not very expensive. It's only 10 grand. This guy will actually cut the sugar beets up for us so we don't have to um, do it with a bucket or anything like that. So this is something that's gonna be very helpful for us, I think. Now where to put it? Uh, we might have to at some point probably expand our farmyard out. This is just a small field, so at some point we probably won't end up using this field at all, and we'll probably be having it as more of our farmyard, or at least maybe a cows and stuff will go there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this long term. That's the thing I'm thinking about. I don't really want it here, because I want this for more room for expansion for our silo systems. So I think... Honestly, for right now, it might just go... I might just put it up over here and make a little path to it. Ooh, that did not go anywhere near what I wanted it to do. Let's go ahead and sell that. Um, let's get in here with some landscaping. Um, let's get that flattened out here. And I paid for all this landscaping, by the way. I didn't do it for free. I landscaped this whole farm, placed all these places. Well, everything cost me a lot of money to do, so... There we go. We don't need to access that building up there. Okay, now if we place it. Is this the... Nope, that's a stone one. We want this guy. Uh, yeah, right there. Beautiful. Okay, landscaping again. Painting. We will do... I think just maybe dirt out to this. Just to kind of change it up a little bit. Yeah, kind of like that. Just kind of dirt. Splanted to here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we need to put some grass back around all of that there. There's some meadow. There we go. And nice, I like that. Okay, that's where that'll go, because if we look in here, that's just going to take the, the sugar beets and make them sugar beets cut, and it does it really quickly, which is good. So that's what we need. J-Pot wedding. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, a weeding something off a wedding. Not, who thought I said a weeding? Did I say that? I did not say it. There's no stinking way. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys are joining this week. You guys hit the like button and welcome to the chaos, everyone. It's good to have you. <laughs> okay. How's that harvester doing? I need him to just uh, like go like really quick. Like, can he almost be? Oh, he's actually making. I mean, that's pretty good progress, actually. To be, to be fair to him, to be fair to him, 
In about 23 minutes, we'll do another giveaway here. Actually, maybe we'll do it sooner than that. Maybe like five, eight minutes? Eight minutes sounds about right. I'm actually going to... I'm going to take over for a second because I'm going to get that little chunk right there real quick. And then I'll have him come back over here and I'll have him continue his course play route. Which, let's just do this so I can see. So he was probably on that route right there. Let me grab this little chunk here. Oh, you said weeding instead of winning. I was like, I was like did I say that? Jason's throwing me off. Jason's throwing me off. Unbelievable, Jason. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, and then this is, yeah, this is definitely where he's trying to head next is this row right here. So we'll do this. And that should get him back on track. Perfect. And then he might miss all that stuff, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Actually, you know what? Let's just grab it real quick. We're right here. We're right here. We might as well grab it. Well, I mean, well, gosh. I mean, that's kind of true in a way. Oh, gosh. All right, let's grab this through here. Perfect. That's close enough. There we go. And he'll, cop, he'll hop over to that right there. And then he'll keep doing his thing. We can probably make that just like that. And yeah, okay. So he's going to finish that up, and then he'll head over to that side of the field. Obviously, it'd be nice if we got rid of the center portion here. And then I want to clean this up around here. And actually, what is over? Is there just grass over there? Let's go and well, let's, let's, let's finish up what we're working on over here. And then, um, yeah, then we'll focus on that. So we got the wheat put in there. Or not the wheat put in here. The sugar beet harvester or cutter. Whatever it is. That thing over there is it. It's in there. There's a thing there. It's there. That's what we got going on. Um, let's go ahead and pull this guy into here. This is going to be kind of our harvester shed, I believe. So let's pull him off to the side. There we go. Okay. This guy, we need to move it. Um, we don't need another tractor, I think, right now to pull it. So we're just going to go grab it with this guy. And honestly, we probably can actually go work on that field and finish that field up how we want it right now. Bed helper simulator 20 That's right. Oh, goodness. On FS19 more than Yeah, we did. We, did a, we have a good... Or we had a good... Uh, Griffin Indiana series for sure. Alright, let's pop that baby open. Now plowing is not required or anything like that, so we don't have to worry about that. And again, precision farming is running, so if we just shoot across here, this is where I want to extend this field out to. It just kind of makes sense. Now, in terms of how far we extend it out, we should extend it out down to. Is this just a big open grass area? That is. We might actually just use that for. I mean, it's kind of connected to that other field up there. We'll do a quick flyover here in a little bit um, in actual F12 mode and take a look at how we want to kind of configure some of the stuff. But at a minimum, this is what we want to do is have this guy run across up this way. Um, and work his way across here so this can all be part of this field um, that's what we at a minimum want here we do want some grass area because obviously we're going to have to make some hay even more field oh yeah yes yeah, so we need more field we need more of it we're here to make some money and do some massive harvest we gotta we gotta make more field more fields gotta be happening Then up over here, this is pretty much that. We might be able to do a little bit, just kind of square that into that field, but that's pretty much probably good to go. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how that's going to be there. Yeah, for right now, I'm just going to cut down to there, I think. Yeah, we'll just cut across this here. And then we'll fill all that in. And that'll be kind of our new expanded field by a little bit. Oh, our harvester needs to be unloaded, though. That's more important. Top and you. Get this guy unloaded real quick. Well, more field. 
Uh, yeah, buy, buy me cheese. This is a PC only map because of how massive it is. This thing, I mean, this field, look how big this field is. This field is huge. And that is this part of the map right here. This is how big this map is. This map is absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. I would be happy if we were just farming this square here. I mean, that's like, that's like a few farming simulator maps put together like normal ones. Yeah, it's absolutely big. Yeah, Sharp, we do need a grass field at some point for our hay work, I think. And we might honestly take this field and probably cut it down to here and then make this a grass field. That might be a good option for us. And then this, we're just going to keep probably doing corn or something. Well, we don't have a planter right now, but we're going to need to get a planter. So that's another purchase we're going to need to make at some point. But uh, we need to start making money as well before we get too crazy. Huge field getting huger. That's right. All right. Nope, go a little faster maybe to get up there. Oh, speed up, speed up. Come on, truck. There we go, right there. All right, perfect. We'll get this guy unloaded. He's making progress. I mean, it's slow progress, but it's it's progress nonetheless. We are slowly getting this harvest done. We'll probably have to jump in and help him by the end of the stream. Um, in one minute, we're gonna do a giveaway. This giveaway will be for the Pumps and Poses DLC. Um, so all you have to do is be in the chat saying something, and then that will help you win the giveaway there, so. Oh, Dranger, that'd be pretty cool to do that, but I think we'll be good just spraying with what we got. I think we'll be, I'll be happy with that. Doing the spot spraying, I think will work uh, really good for us. This guy full, and there we go. We'll drive this up over, get this started on loading, and then we will start the giveaway. We'll see who's going to win a Pumps and Hoses DLC. It's a PC code. If you guys don't need it, don't chat after I put start in there. Um, but all you have to do to try to win is just put something in the chat afterwards. Marty something. <laughs> KO, good to see you, my friend. Good to have you joining us. William Rhodes, so I don't know. I think if I would win instead of the DLC, would trade for a mug. Yeah, I'd let you do that. I don't want everyone to trade for mugs because that kind of defeats the part of the purpose. But, uh... Easy does it. Easy does it. Slow down. Slow down. Define too crazy. You already spent eight million. Uh, I don't know, Grove. I don't know, man. That's a good point. I mean, that's a valid point. But we're out here just trying to spend money and uh, have a good time and make. We're gonna make it all back though. We're gonna make it all back for sure. Quentin Williams, welcome back, my friend. Oh, that's unloading. All right, let's go ahead and start this giveaway here. All right, let me get my random number generator pulled up here. Okay, let's see who's gonna win this bad boy. Ace and King says, may I ask what header that is? Yes, it's the Duras 60 foot header on uh, P or on uh, Mod Hub for all platforms, my friend. Oh, Dranger, yeah, playing Wild West 69. Wild West was one that I thought about doing as well. I decided to go with this one, but Wild West is a good looking map as well. Lucas in, good luck. <laughs> all right, there we go. Let's drive this guy back out to the field. I know, such a massive field. Okay, I gotta start counting here. I'm gonna lose it here. And Cape Cod Driver. Cape Cod Driver. You. You win a pumps. You win a DLC. You want a pumps and hoses DLC, my friend. Cape Cod Driver. You are the winner, my friend. Where's my sheet of paper here? Cape. Cod Driver. He and H DLC for you, my friend. Just message me on um, Discord, Facebook, or uh, email, and I will I will get you a copy of your your DLC, my friend. So congratulations. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's my other harvester, my other tractor out here. Let's keep going down here. Keep working on this. Yeah, Cape Cod, just shoot me a message, my friend, and I'll get you that. Uh, now, it hasn't been that DLC hasn't been released yet, so you won't be able to use the code yet, but I'll send you a code so when it is released, you'll be good to go. All right, 
right, moving along here. Yasa 0900 Farmer Cup. I don't even know what the Yasa means. <laughs> don't even know, Yas. Don't even know. Yeah, so that'll be our grass field over there probably after we get the sugar beets off of this one. I think that'll be a good idea. Um, so we'll keep shooting straight down this way for now. Because we're going to connect it all eventually. I'm just going to go right up to the edge of this field for now. Oop, don't drive on them, I guess. I shouldn't do that because that's going to destroy them. But there we go. I did destroy a little bit of them. Oh, no! Ah! All right, well, it happens. <laughs> You're welcome, cake cut driver. Cornell uh, Valley says, I'm thinking I need to stop by DLC if you give it for... <laughs> yeah, I do give I do give them for free. I try to, at least. But it does go to help support the channel. If you can afford to buy it yourself, I would ask that you do use my code to buy it because that does support the channel and supports more giveaways for people that may not be able to afford it. Sharp651 says, Farmer Cop, can anyone join your Discord? Yeah, anyone can join my Discord. It's free to join, and we do have some servers on there. Um, I do need to do a live stream on those servers and kind of show them off a little bit at some point. Uh, Jason and I are going to work on doing that. Um, I may not be able to do it. I know I put it on the schedule for tomorrow, but I got. I think I have to work tomorrow now for part of the day at least. Yeah, so we didn't need those 20 beats anyhow. That's right, Marty. Thank you. <laughs> Farm Sim Freak, or yeah, Farm Sim Freaks. Hi, Farmer Cop. Good to see you, man. Good to see you as well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing good, my friend. I think you need to implement 250 max horsepower and 6 meter width limit on this one. Oh, farm sim gym, I'd lose my mind if I did that. I don't think I could do that. That would defeat the entire purpose of this series. And there's a link to pre-order the Platinum Expansion right there. Or you can pre-order a Season Pass and you can get this. You get the Platinum Expansion in addition to all the other um, DLCs as well. So make sure you guys check those out as well. But yeah, we'll keep going for another probably 40 minutes or so. And then... Um, then I'll probably have to wrap up the stream at that point. I do work tonight, and I want to get some other stuff done before I go to work. So I have to work from, I think I only work 5 to 9, which isn't too bad. But yeah, so I'm going to, I'll have to go into work tonight, which isn't the, the biggest deal. But uh, yeah, it just means I can't stream as long as I may want to. But yeah, I'm going to try to shoot for, I think, on this map, probably three-hour stream seem to be a good fit for it. Um, I think that's probably a good, a good amount of time for it. And actually, what we should do with this, with what we got going on here, we should... If we can, this just would be smarter. We have GPS on this tractor, so why don't we auto with that? There we go. Um, a set A. I think zero is the way. Is it going to show me? Nope. Okay, wrong way. Um, let's try that again. Set A. Ninety. I need it to show me though, so let's go into here. Um, let's go to settings. Sure, lines on. There we go. Okay. Yep, there we are. And then that GPS will keep us on the straight and narrow as we go down this route here and get this field plowed in. Oh, William Rhodes. What do we have? I had a call the other day that um, we had someone in a different town, not my city. They. Uh, did a, a robbery where which is where they they held someone up at gunpoint and stole some stuff and then they obviously fled or left that area and then so the 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 other town and our, our the county deputies in our area and us were notified because they might come back to the city that i worked in so and then we ended up being the ones that found them which was super cool so we got a high-risk vehicle stop done and we we're able to get them taken into custody safely but yeah so it was good it was cool it all worked out really well we got all the stolen stuff back um, we recovered the, the weapon they had used, and they got booked on the felony charge for robbery first degree, which is awesome. So, there we go. It was super cool. But, yeah. That's what I got for you. Uh, Cape Cod, we can put a link in there. Um, we don't have a... there. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Jason responds quick enough that it's almost like we have Streamlabs all set up the way it should be set up. <laughs> oh, Jason's just a machine. I would be lost without Jason, that's for sure. All right, there we go. Get this guy going that way. Harvester's not full yet. He's still working. He's dry. Look, yeah, okay, look. He's going to get that hopefully squared away, and then he should be up in here doing all this good stuff. We'll just make sure we don't get in his way and do too much. But yeah, this field will look a lot nicer as just a completed field across the top. So I think that'll be good for us. 
Um, and then course play should be able to pick up on that as well once we have the field all up to date and everything like that. So all that should work out really well for us, I think. Get our drink of coffee there. Yeah, this will be, be perfect. And eventually I want to get those trees knocked out um, so we can start doing some stuff in there. Jay's machine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Farm Sim Jim? Hopefully not. This person has done this before, and they've they've served some time, so hopefully this person does get in trouble. She uh, She's a bit of a troublemaker, so I think that she'll actually get some trouble for this one, but I could be wrong, too. I am still lost, and I am still... She's... She lost. Oh, gosh. There we go. And then we'll just have to... Kind of swoop around so we don't hit the uh, stuff over there or hit the crops in the middle there since those haven't been harvested yet, obviously. So we don't want to, we don't want to get our our crops damaged. There we go. We all need a JBot navigation system. Very true. Very true. There we go. Mr. Grady, Ryan Grady, good to see you, my friend. Run Escapes, is there any way I can buy bulk wheat or chicken feed rather than buying small bags? Yes, there are some mods that should have that available to you, like some multi-buying stations and some um, multi-fruit selling stations or, yeah, buying stations and stuff like that. So there should be some options out there for you that would do that. How's our harvester doing? Is he still doing something? Yeah, he's still doing something. Okay. I should get that mod installed. And I'm going to make a list of mods that I want to install in this series as we're going through. Did I? Wow, all my sticky note pads currently have something on top of them. I need to grab another, another sticky note pad, which is ridiculous. Um, okay. So I want the Harvester Fill. Harvester Fill mod. Which just shows me uh, what is going on in terms of the harvesters. Like what their fill level is up in the upper right hand corner there. So it would show me what their fill levels are at, which would be awesome and very helpful. I probably can just handle this one on, on my own here. If I don't need the GPS for this. Just loop around. We'll get this last little chunk here. Squirt out. Yeah, no problem. Run escape. Hopefully that helps you out. Beautiful. Okay. Then we'll go finish out that little chunk over there. And then for now, we'll call that good. And then next year, we'll have this thing really squared away. Uh, and can you, can you, so Miami says, sup, bro. Good to see you, my friend. Good to have you joining us. I'm sure I butchered your name, but it's good to have you. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. I think we can hit 200 likes today. I got a lot of faith in it. We're only 31 likes away. I think we can hit 200 likes this stream, which would be absolutely incredible. So if you guys have not hit that like button, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel and shows me you guys are enjoying what we're doing. All right, there we go. Swoop across here. Boom, get that squared away there. Lift that up. Okay, so that's done. For now, I don't think we need to add any more fields or do anything crazy. We're going to get this off the field for now. Fold it up. And I'm just going to park him over here for a second. And then we can turn his GPS off. Here we go. He's probably almost full. We'll go out there and start heading that way. It looks like he's almost full. Nice. There we go. We bumped up quite a bit in the likes right there. Now we're only 21 away, it looks like. Thank you guys for that. You guys are awesome. Let's drop down here. We will go ahead and get this guy unloaded. Yep, he needs to be unloaded now, so that'd be perfect. It's interesting how he takes a while to break, but if I hit cruise control speed, he drops the speed way faster than he would if he was just braking, I, I believe. At least it seems that way. Oh, nice, Buddha. That's awesome, my friend. 
Well, there you go. You'll probably really enjoy this series. Okay, will do. Thank you, Jbot. Oh, you can do it. Let me speed up. Okay, he should handle that for a second while I check. Oh, copy that. Okay, Jason. I appreciate it. Thank you. Rabbit, you're awesome, my friend. We'll reroll your DLC here in a bit. We'll get this guy unloaded, then I need to run to the restroom real quick. Because I've been streaming for two hours now, and I've been drinking a lot of coffee, and I'll get my coffee cup refilled, and we will just keep chugging along, getting stuff done. This guy's finishing up this side here. Oh, I didn't quite get all of that, or quite get a full load here. Let's get back over there. Well, he's always harvesting. That's what matters. All right, there we go. Should be able to zoom up here. Yeah, this should be his last row over here. And then he should shoot over to the other side of the map, or the other side of the field here, and finish up that side of field 361. And that'll be fantastic. Uh, Amanda, I'm not going to do a multiplayer on this map. We will probably do the multiplayer on either... Gr we might do it on Griffin, actually. We'll either do it on Griffin or um, Stone Valley. Stone Valley is what I'm leaning towards for when we do our Help Wanted series. It definitely does slow down faster, I think, if you just slam the cruise control as opposed to the brakes. There we go. That should start unloading. Perfect. A lot of canola. All right. I will be back in just a half a second here. All right, I'm back. We are back at it. Okay, 162,000 liters so far. That's great. Great news for us. And he's probably harvesting. Yep, now he's working on that, looks like. It's a little, little and looks like he's in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, there he goes. No, he meant to do that. He's just got a strange rose he's gonna do. But there we go. All right, he's working there. So he'll start zooming across that, hopefully, um, and getting that squared away. Uh, yes, Buddha, we are on Spring Creek, my friend. All right, and since we have two giveaways to give away, let's go ahead and run another one um, here. We'll, we'll give it a little bit here. We'll give it 15 minutes and we'll run another one, I think, and then we'll do one right at the end. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, you guys are chill over here. Yeah, so in terms of everything, I think we probably should buy... I think we probably should buy a second harvester. We need one kind of anyways, regardless of what we end up doing. Um, but one thing we can look at actually is we are harvesting canola right now. Yeah, August is the last day, so we have to get it all done today, or else it's gonna have issues. 
But I think we can buy ourselves another harvester, which I'm actually just going to put this. And then if we do, because, yeah, how much money do we have? Yeah, another harvester. That's a good investment, to be honest. Um, so what do we use? The Well, I guess it'll show us in here if we go into here. Harvesters. This is one of the ones we have. Big old grain tank is what I did. Let's do number two, because the other one says number one on it. North America. I think I did do a rear hitch on it. Um, bigger engine. Oh, wow. That's an expensive bigger engine. That's okay. Uh, long pipe. Yeah, that's the big one. Okay. Wider rear axle. I did do GPS on it. Yeah, that'll all be fine. Okay. And then we'll need to get ourselves um, the big header for it, the Duris. Which if we go, headers be all the way towards the end here. It's a very expensive header, but it's very much worth it. I did the John Deere, uh, and then I did that right there. That's all I did for it. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. So now we can help out. Yeah, yeah, well, especially, there's there's a few that have, there's probably quite a few that have only one harvester, but a lot of farmers, especially ones that have this much land are gonna have multiple harvesters, um, unless they hire someone. I mean, there's all sorts of different things that, you know, can factor in, but yeah, farmers with this much land are typically gonna have uh, many a harvester. Gonna unfold harvester. Oh, maybe it was unfolding and I just interrupted it. There we go. It's that's doing something. We'll let that finish whatever it's supposed to be doing. There we go. And off we go. Getting our canola harvested. Beautiful. We do have GPS if we want to use it. We probably should use it. This is a good angle right here. So if we turn that on, uh, let's go over here. Set A. Go a little bit over further. Set B. Auto whip. Hopefully that. Ah, doesn't like it. Oh, I maybe I was too close for the setting setting of B. Let's try that. There we go. I might have to grab a couple little bits there. That's okay though. We don't need that one. There we go. I'm gonna back up and grab this real quick. Leonard, Mihal Dairy, good to see you, my friend. Good to have you joining us. this chunk right here and we'll get that over to back to our course play route or not our course play route excuse me our GPS route there there we go have that activated and then we'll just keep working our way towards the other harvester and that will multiply our our place here Dranger Overlander says in Iowa our neighbors help each other out and you have or you would have two to four harvesters running time. Yep, that makes a lot of sense actually, Dranger. That makes a lot of sense. So Wander Nana says it looks very heavy for the harvester. It is a little heavy for this harvester for sure that header is, but um, it's working fine on there, at least it has been. Um, we will keep the headers long term, but we'll probably upgrade the harvester. I mean I'm sure we'll upgrade the harvester at a certain point. Oh copy that Buddha, that makes a lot of sense. And if you guys just join us, we're 12 likes from 200. We can hit 200 likes today, which would be awesome. It's been a while since I've hit 200 likes while streaming. That would be super cool. And this has been a uh, a fairly popular uh, live stream so far compared to my normal ones. We have about double the normal people that are watching, which is super cool. So you guys seem to really like this, at least like the concept of this series that we got going, which is great. That encourages me to keep going with it, which I plan to do for a, a good while. But yeah, just fantastic. So thank you guys for all the support and everything like that. It has been awesome so far to see all that. 
But uh, yeah. All right. We'll keep doing our thing here. Who am I? Who am I repping today? Can't see. You. I'm. I've got just my farmsome hat on. You know what? We should. We should switch over to my farmsome guy hat for a little bit here. Got my farmsome guy hat, and I got my farmer cop shirt, and then I've got my DJ Go Ham mug right there. Yeah, this is this is doing good. Our farm is looking good. We're getting this. We're squaring this. He's going up and down that way, so we're going to interrupt somewhere in the middle. It's going to be a little awkward, but that's okay. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine once we get to that point. We can figure it out. Uh, what is the time for me? For me, it's two two o eight p.m. It's two o eight. Just eight minutes past two p.m. Here, Star Rainbow. Good to see you, my friend. Good to have you joining us. Hope you're doing well. Sharp six two five one. Welcome back, my friend. Leonard says, it, it is about that 10 mil. You were, yeah, we we're down to 2.2 mil. We started with 10. Quentin says, glad you decided to play Precision Farming and Seasons. Me too. I think it'll be good. I don't normally do it on streams. Um, precision Farming not necessarily is the issue, but I don't normally do Seasons on streams because it takes a little bit longer and stuff. But since we're doing such large-scale farming, I think that that'll actually maybe even make it easier in terms of what we're doing on this on this series. Get that lined up pretty good. There we go. Back at it. Slow but sure. Slow but sure we'll win the harvester race. Lucas Shimas, that's right. Oh nice. William Rose using the old tractor to Griffin. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I like that. Kind of like a more vintage type thing. That's cool. Star Rainbow Sam, good. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well too. Thank you, Star Rainbow. I'm doing fantastic today. You guys are just hopping on here. Make sure you guys first off like the stream because we're three likes away from 200, and subscribe if you have not already uh, to join the Farmer Cop channel. So that is that's how we roll. This is what we got going on today, and this is what we're going to keep going on. I think for a while is working on getting this map built up. Um, next stream we will probably do sugar beets and cotton. That'll probably be our main our main focus is next stream. Um, and in six minutes from where we're at right now, we will do a giveaway. So that's that's kind of what we got going on. Our other harvester is almost full, so let's go ahead and pause this guy for a second. Let's grab our truck. Go get him unloaded. Where is he at? Right over there. No, that's me. He's going to be right down this way. So close. 199 likes. One more like. You can be number 200. Uh, the economy should be set at normal. That's a good question, though. I want to make sure it's set at normal. But it should be set at normal. That's what I want it set at. Oh, and I forgot about contracts. We could probably do some really good paying contracts. If we, Holy smoke, Arenos. 74 grand. Oh, 75 grand. 103. Oh, my good. 135. Oh, gosh. Those are crazy. We could do some of those if we wanted to. We might, actually. Uh, okay, anyhow. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got really distracted really quick there. Uh, let's go to our settings. Uh, economic uh, economic difficulties normal, perfect. Okay, that's what we wanted. Holy smokes! And thank you guys for over 200 likes. You guys are awesome. Yeah, seriously, guys, all the super chats, likes, subscribers, all that stuff that does go to help support the channel quite a bit. So I seriously do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And of course, where he's at, what is he doing right now? He's gonna of course go in there like that. So I'm not gonna be able to unload him. That's perfect. Actually, I might still be able to sneak in. There's a lot of space over there. No, because I'm going to still have to drive in the crops. Yeah, this, isn't gonna, this is not going to go well. He's going to have to do something to let me unload him. Hashtag good gravy. Oh, nice, William. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, he's going to do something. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Don't hit me. He's going to do something to let me unload him. That's good. That is good. I don't know why you're putting your pipe away. I'm literally right here. What are you doing? There you go. He should stay stationary there for that. Okay, good. He is. We'll leave him do that. He shouldn't hit us going back forward again if we're sitting right there, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go back up and let's hop in our... Oh, nope. Back up. Keep going this way. How do you start the series? How did you take a massive loan to get the 10 million? Uh, so Ninja 66, you can, I mean, you can cheat money in to be fair. I cheated $5 million in. 
Um, after I, I started it here and I made sure we had $5 million in the bank. That was the money we got from selling the old stream farm to some other rich farmer. Since we had worked a lot on that series, I thought that was fair because we earned that money. We earned that, that property and our progress on there. We worked hard to get it. Um, and then um, we, got, we took out a loan for $5 million additional dollars on this series here. So we have a $5 million loan. I have a loan or a mod installed. That's called $10 million loan limit, which extends the loan limit so you can have it up to $10 million in loans if you want to. Um, so yeah, we're just running that five million because we don't need any more than that, I think. But if we need to take out more of a loan, we can. There's no rules against me having loans or taking loans out in this series. Obviously, we haven't been through a day yet, but I'm assuming we're gonna pay a boatload of interest tonight. Probably 20, 30, $40,000 a day in interest, which is gonna be wild. Oh, nice. That's super cool. I probably won't do an auto-drive route. We'll probably just try to have the workers do it and see how that works, but we'll see. Yeah, thank you guys for all the likes. That's awesome. That's super cool. All right, this guy's doing good. He's done unloading. Has he destroyed our truck? Uh, possibly, but we need to stop and go unload that truck anyways. Uh, let's just hop in the truck. Oh, good. Well, he didn't hit it to our knowledge, so no crash counters. <laughs> Everything's great. Uh... <laughs> There we go. Yeah, no co sim farmer. Yeah, we got a huge tracks of land. Lots of stuff going on here. Should be able to cut through here. There we go. Yeah, we'll need to take those trees out at some point and extend the field. I do kind of like them there. They're kind of a good barrier, but I think I just will keep these trees on this side because these will serve as a pretty good barrier as well. Clutch 30, good to see you, my friend. Good to have you joining us. Hope you're doing well. All right, back this baby up. Touch further. There we go. Perfect. Put that in there. And how are we doing? A lot of canola we're getting harvested. That's fantastic. Ninja 66 is awesome. Sweet. Loving the series so far. Awesome, Ninja 66. J Bot says, Long gone have the days when there was only two dislikes and folks would be thinking it was. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, Jason, I, I almost forgot about those days. Those are so funny. We'd always get two dislikes every single stream. And everyone would just accuse Jason and uh, Quiet Hitman, my two OG moderators, about it. We haven't seen Quiet Hitman around as much. He hops in every so often, but... Oh, all the accusations that came from that. Ooh, we are kind of on top of that a little bit there. That's fine. No crash, right? Yes, Clutch 30. We are going to use the pumps and hoses DLC on here to do some of these big fields when it comes out. So I'm excited about that to get to use that a little bit more. I think that'll be good. I'm actually just going to park this guy here because who knows who's going to get full first. How are you doing? Yeah, he's already at 34%. I mean, we're doing good at trying to keep up with him, but... At the same time... Buddha says, Farmer's been taking down their shelter shelter belts the past few years. It's reality to cut them down. <laughs> nice. Clutch 30, so are you going to be using the hoses DLC? Oh, sorry, I already answered that. Yes, we're definitely using that. Uh, the CFL, Sasquatchin Rough Riders, established 9010 fan. <laughs> Uh, mouse sex on farm sim use controller right now do it now use use what the mouse works great I love the mouse I have no issues with the mouse and I don't have a controller past that so that's that's we're gonna we're stuck with the mouse we don't have a hit CFL I don't know what to tell you man I don't have a, I don't have a controller I just have a mouse so regardless of what you want me to do that is not gonna happen so that's <laughs> what it is if you guys are just joining us but you guys hit that like button we are two four D's are awesome these are crazy the likes love it That is craziness. All right, there we go. Get that squared away there. Look around here. Start him off getting this harvest going. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stretch. Oh, it's streaming for a while. 
You're no longer transporter pallets. That's right. We're no longer transporting pallets every stream. That's all we do. Uh, lime is on because it's, well, precision farming's on. So lime doesn't really exist anymore. Um, theoretically speaking, it does for different reasons. Um, so lime isn't really an option in here. Crop production is on, plowing's off, and field stone is off. The reason plowing is off, because if you plow the field, you get a hit on the environmental um, score. So we're not gonna we're not gonna run that. We're just gonna do direct drill and for the most part, but we're just gonna avoid that. So we don't have to worry about getting the 50% deficit in a you know in, in exchange for the environmental score. So we're not gonna run that. Weeds are on, of course, because um, that's important to everything, but yeah. Oh, nice. The CFL Seth Squadron Rough Riders established an 10 van. You have quite the long name, my friend. Quite the long name. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. It's giveaway time. Let's go ahead and do a giveaway. Um, let's give away a Vermeer pack. This is going to be Vermeer. So we're going to go ahead and hit start for a Vermeer pack here in just a second. Um, I'm going to wait till you guys hear me say that because there's a delay on the stream and everything, of course. So I'm going to wait till you guys know that we're going to get ready to do that. But yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. We got precision farming on, which is going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun to run precision farming on. On this big of a map, and that environmental score is gonna is gonna pay big dividends for us because I mean, if we get a max environmental score, our harvest income is gonna be really increased by that. So that's gonna help us a lot. Uh, one second, Buddha. Let me get this guy turned around, and then I'll show you the crop calendar here. There we go. Okay, crop calendar just like this. So everything's pretty standard in terms of every. Everything looks pretty standard. Is canola normally you plant it at the same time you harvest it so we can plant canola again right away and then have it ready to harvest again? I mean, we're not going to do that because we don't want canola, but I feel like it doesn't normally do that, actually. Um, yeah, everything else looks pretty pretty squared away, pretty standard on there. Um, so, yeah, nothing crazy on there. Um, is sugarcane on there? Yeah, sugarcane's on there. We're not going to do sugarcane, but I was curious if it would be on there because you probably wouldn't be able to grow it in North Dakota. Matter of fact, I know you wouldn't be able to grow it in North Dakota unless you had, like, inside somewhere. Um, yeah, so run escape, you don't have to type anything specific to enter. You just have to type something after I put start. So we're going to go ahead and put start giveaway. And then you need nothing specific to enter. You just got to type something after that. And then um, we'll see who ends up winning. That's the plan. Yeah, Ninja 66, six, the Ramir Baylor is awesome. We're going to use the self-propelled Baylor in this series um, for sure. So I'm, I'm excited about doing that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. It has one month. Okay, perfect. Buddha. That probably then it's the same as base game. Then looks like for the most part, he's not quite full yet. You see, we're we're making progress. This field is huge. We got so much canola off this field. We're still getting it too. Uh, all right, see who's gonna win this. And you, me, you are the winner, my friend. You, me, is the winner. Put Vermeer pack down here. You me. Just make sure you message me. Let me know who you are. And I will get you that right there, my friend. But there you are. All right. Let's turn this guy off here. Next row, we should fill this guy up. Sounds good to CFL. Have a good one, my friend. There we go. Making good progress here. He's not almost full again. That guy just is getting filled up left, right, and center. It's craziness. Does it still help yield in precision farming? Because it, it hurts your yield if you don't have it plow. But if you plow it, you also take a hit in your environmental scores. That's why I didn't want to mess with it too much. Um, Jacob, which uh, cotton harvester are you referring to? Because I can show you how much it is to rent real quick if you want. I can just do that for you. That's not a big deal. Cotton harvester, this guy. To rent this guy. You're looking at $24,735 plus $10,000 an hour and $48,50 per work day. And then if you go up to this guy right here, which is the base game one, the other base game one, this guy is going to be $43,197 at $17,000 an hour and $84 a day. So there you go. Hopefully that helps you. Almost full here. I mean, to be fair, we can stop whenever we want because we're not going to be able to take any additional past what the truck holds. All right, 99,000. We'll call that good there. And 
And then how close is this guy? You're at 85. Okay, we should be able to unload. I don't know. <laughs> See what happens. Oh, we could run the chop straw mod. We could do that as well. That's not a bad idea. What I'm going to do is grab about maybe half a truckload from this harvester, and then I'll be ready to unload part of that harvester. Um, that way we can keep both the harvesters kind of working as best as possible. Or maybe I'll grab more from him, because he's going to be the one that's going to help hopefully finish it up here pretty quick. I guess maybe we'll get like 40 from this. Yeah, we'll go grab the rest from there. Okay. There we go. Iceberg! Hey, oh, didn't realize FC would still be going. Oh, yeah, we still rocking and rolling. Good to see you, Iceberg. Jacob, sorry, thanks. Uh, is that worth it for a smaller field? I think it's like 55. It's not worth it for a smaller field for sure. Big field, yes. Yeah. Small field, no. Not worth it. Not worth it. Worth it just to plow it under and do something else or grow more cotton first or something. But yeah, it's not worth it for a small field. Uh, Janie, good to see you, my friends. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good, Janie. Hope you're doing well. It's good to have you joining us. Pop it in here. All right, let's get this guy unloaded. Ooh, too much speeds. Too many speeds. Okay, right there should be good. And we'll hop in this guy. Get some more harvest done here while we're waiting. We'll probably just do this row and call it good for this harvester. Um, and we'll just drive this guy back up to um, the farm. And then our other guy should finish everything up probably in one more row after this one. So that should, that should pretty much square that away. There he goes. He's starting back up. He didn't get fully unloaded, obviously, but we should be able to fix that. Is he smacking into the truck? No, he does pretty good. Yeah, look at that. He's able to make it around that truck without hitting it. That's impressive. We'll take that. Jeremy says, I have a rare problem. My hand tools are not uh, able to be selected or used. I'm sure it was a mod conflict. We even use no mods on a new map. My hand tools from being selected or used. Interesting, Jeremy. I would... Uh, you might have to reinstall the game. It might have broken something, theoretically speaking, in the game or something like that. But uh, Buddha says EV score. Does it reset every time you harvest? Okay, see, this is good stuff to know. See, I'm learning about precision farming. I may have done tutorials on it. It doesn't make me an expert, though. That is for sure. Because sometimes some stuff you only learn from doing it. <laughs> Get out of here, Yoss. There we go. We'll call that good for this guy. We're gonna head this guy back up over to the farm. Because we are donezo. I'm tempted to grab some of this grass and before we plow it all under and make some hay bales. Could do loose as well, but hay bales are kind of fun to do. Rob Van Dam says, uh, hey, Farmer Cop, really nice to see you in person at the live stream. Thank you. I appreciate that, my friend. It's good to have you joining us. Put that pipe out. We can actually turn this GPS off as well. We're not going to need it. Yeah, absolutely, Jeremy. And you should be able to still keep all your game saves when you reinstall. Um... Either you can copy them out of the game, out of the, the uh, folder for the game on your PC, um, but it should allow you to keep them all. I'm not sure if you're on console, I guess, or not, but it should keep all your game saved, is my understanding. I could be wrong about that if it's on console, but I know on PC um, you can do stuff to make sure it keeps your game saves. We're going to need to drive this way. I don't know where I'm trying to go here, but that's not going to work. <laughs> awesome, Sharp651. I appreciate that. So I watched a load of your videos on my phone. Thank you. Oh, can we do it? That's a good question. Look, I think we can do 250 likes. I think we do it. That's only 29 more likes. I think we can make that. There's got to be 29 people in here right now that haven't liked yet. Maybe not, but I would I would guess there probably is. Oh, you're on Steam on PC? Yeah, actually, so don't even uninstall it. Um, Steam has an option, and I, I can't explain how to do it right now, where it's verify the integrity of your game files. I would do that. Do that first, and then see, make sure everything's good in terms of that. That should actually fix your problem quite a bit.
This may be really difficult to get that directly over. Oh, don't move it. <laughs> yeah, right there. For whatever reason, that spot works. All right, perfect. As long as you're unloading. As long as you are unloading into the silo. It all works for me. Oh, it's going to say it's full again. I need to get into this thing. Oh, I turned it off. My bad. Oh, no. Forward. There we go. Put that right out there. Is this empty? Nope, you're not empty yet. There we go. No one move anything. Just unload. Nice and neat. There it goes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's unloading. Hopefully successfully. How's our course play guy doing? Oh, is he running into the truck? No, he's about done. Look at that. This guy's got to drive back up over. Uh, we'll drive this guy over while that guy's unloading. Thank you, Tracy. McCarter says, love your videos. Thank you. Oh, the new, the new swather? Because one is a... Oh, that's a good idea. We should use the swather, the mower conditioner swather. Because the mower conditioner will drop... Excuse me, drop hay right out, which isn't grass, technically speaking. I mean, technically is speaking. Sorry, actually, technically speaking, is grass, but it's dry grass. But yeah, it's all it's all similar, the same-ish, kind of. That all makes sense, but yeah. Okay, let's get that harvester out of the... Oh, don't slam into that. That was close. That was close. All right. get you out of the way these 60 foot headers I'm not sure where we're gonna put them uh, we might put them on the far side of the other we might have to move our trucks and trailers and then do something else to put these guys away because these these headers are massive you can hang out there for a second though you are almost done beautiful let's get that truck unloading And we'll see how much we're actually going to get. How are we sitting at right now? Whoo, over 200,000. So we probably got, uh, if we play our cards right, $250,000-ish worth of, so probably got a quarter million dollars of canola off this field, which is really good. We're going to need that. Um, that's going to be some good cash for us. But yeah, I think what we do, actually, let's, let's get this guy real quick, because I bet he's just about done. He's going to keep going because technically he's not done with his course, but we can stop him. Because he is officially done over here. Uh, Jeremy, we're on Spring Creek, North Dakota map, and there's a download link right there. And Tracy, for you as well, we're on Spring Creek, North Dakota. Fantastic. I mean, you can see how big this field is. That's this field right here. This is the map. It never ends. The map is humongous. It's absolutely massive. That's the problem with fertilizing contracts. It took you six hours to drive somewhere to do them. I am curious to see how much we're going to have to pay in loan interest <laughs> at the night tonight for a $5 million loan. Oh, gosh. Jeremy Shipley says, love the videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, we're close. We got 16 likes at 250. You guys are awesome. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel. All right, let's pop up over here. And actually, this guy we might just unload into the truck. This might be easier because that was a bit of a hassle getting this guy to unload otherwise. Ooh, it stopped. Well, I'll fix that in a second. Actually, no, we need to get to unload the rest of this. It's going to say... Oh, weird. There it goes. Still going. Very odd. Got some odd things happening. Yeah, B1. Sadly, this is PC only map because it's a. I want to say it's a 16x map. 
Is it a 12 or a 16? It's either a 12x or a 16x map, but yeah, which means it's just 16 times as wide as a normal FS map. So not 16 times the size, 16 times as wide in one direction. So that would be a lot, a lot larger than a standard map. We'll grab that, get that unloaded. Well, that's unloading real quick. Let's run around the side of the building here. I think... Or I'll put harvesters in there. The plow will probably need to go in here as well. I'm just wondering about parking our trucks. So I want to put the headers up against this side of the building over here. We might need to just put like a little... It doesn't have to be something crazy. A nice drive through shelter for our trucks would be kind of nice. Like something like this, even if that drove went all the way through. That would be fine. Yeah, that's not right. A drive through one of those would be great. It's not drive through. That is kind of drive through, but not drive through the right way. Ooh, that one wouldn't be bad. I don't really want that building though. Ooh, there we go. That one could work. I'd prefer it be open though. I think more. I mean, this one would do the trick, but this is maybe a little bit larger than I want. And it's. A, I want to use something more creative than that. I mean, that one would work, but it's a little too big. Maybe like a better pole barn of some kind installed in this in this game save maybe not though no we're getting too big now i think yeah we might just have to go with uh might just go with this guy and this will do the trick for sure but is that where i want that that's the question that is the question it's kind of hard to find a good spot for this because right there is really the only spot I have. We might move our house, actually. That might be what we have to do. If we put that there, we can move our house somewhere else. Let's, let's sell this. We don't take a loss on it. Let's put our house over here somewhere. Honestly, right next to the... Well, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad spot for it. We could put it up over here, though, maybe by the trees. That's probably a little bit more reasonable spot for a house. Yeah, kind of like up over there. I kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. And then if we put that shed oh, those aren't very big that's what i thought okay if we put that shed over here where'd it go where'd you go there it is then that would be a little bit easier for driving stuff straight through and around beautiful just like that and then if we go landscape painting let's get some gravel we're just gonna Put that up to there. I wish we had like a darker gravel. I wish there was more painting textures in this map. I think that would be one complaint I have. Or one thing I'd like to see a little bit different. We'll open that up maybe a little bit more since we have that there now. Okay. And over here. We'll just connect this up to the dirt. And call that good right there. And then up over here. I mean, like, it's a little path up to our little house up here. It's like a little driveway. I can loop around. We're not going to use it really ever, if ever. So I can kind of loop around into here. Yeah, that can be where the entrance is. There we go. Okay. I like that a lot better. I think that'll work a little bit better for what we got going on. And this truck can park right in here. Undercover. And we can run over to this truck. And then we'll have space over here to put what we need to put over there. Fantastic. Good coffee. We'll try to put this guy up on the far side here. This guy will not fit completely under, but that's okay. Actually, it might. Oh, look at that. A little bit sticking out, but that is about, I mean, pretty darn close in terms of size of what we need. Okay. Let's get you put away here real quick. So the header. <laughs> Such a massive header. There we go. And this guy can go to our harvester barn. Try dirt gravel, maybe like it. Are you talking about um, like this stuff right here? Like this look? 
I do I do like that. It's not I would I wish I had like the darker like the base game gravel is my favorite because I know what that looks like and I wish I had that. I don't like this lighter gravel. Um, this kind of to me it looks too close to the pavement texture, so I don't, I'm not I'm not a big fan. But this is number two. We should have made loaded this guy in second. That's okay. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, we'll put these guys down the center. I think. Leave them room so those guys can still get out and move around. And then this guy. Oh no! Why did I do that? It's my bad. He's empty. Let's see if we can curve out of there without hitting that truck. And we'll go set this guy down. This this header down. And then put this harvester away. Semper Buffalo, welcome back, my friend. Uh, how much did which one cost you? The header, or what are you talking about in terms of how much did what cost me, my friend? There we go. Another big header right there up against the building. Those things will not fit in the garage. Be yeah, honest, I'm just saying it'd be nice to have the uh, dark, like the dark gravel look. I think that'd be nice to have, but that's okay. I can live with what I've got. I just wish there was more painting textures. I guess I should say in this in this map here. We'll write it to about there. All right. Let's get this put into the silo, and then that'll be everything from this harvest put away. going in okay good we'll make sure this is all working here real quick uh bourbon there's not it has to be something that's built into the map so different maps will have different ones depending on what the modder puts in but yeah so it has to be it has to be something that's built into the map oh nice william that's awesome there we go that's emptied out how is this looking 237,139 liters. That is a good harvest right there, folks. That is fantastic. Let's go park this guy. And this truck did a pretty good job for us, actually. I like, I like how this truck worked and did what it needed to do for us. Let's go get this guy put away. Park him under our shed here. Perfect. Okay. I like that. Everything is coming together looking pretty good for us. The screen bin's got a lot of good stuff in it, which is fantastic. All right. So that was, yeah. So eventually we'll cut this down here. We got to wait for that to be ready to harvest. Um, it almost looks like these two. Oh, those two fields are almost connected, but they're not. Okay. They're different. Go back to here. So you have to wait for that. We'll cut this field down to there and cut it across because I think if we go, let's go into flight mode actually here so we can take a look at some of this stuff. Okay, yeah. So we'll cut this field across because I think, yeah, all this we can plow over the top of. Eventually we'll cut these trees out of here and get rid of those. Um, I'm okay with how this field is set up over here. But yeah, if we can cut this field right down, I might, it's over a little bit odd. I might actually even it out with the map to go up and down correctly. And then we'll get these sugars, sugar beets harvested off of here. And then this whole side will make a field for grass. And then we'll be able to do grass work there. Because we'll need to do some hay and stuff like that. And worst case scenario, we also can use it for silage, which is good. And then over here, other area right here, this field, which is our cotton. We will plow this little chunk into it. So that way this is all part of that field. And then we're not going to mess with... Uh... Let's get down to the ground here. This little water area looks, uh, it's interesting that that's all grassed. Yeah, that's interesting that that's all, all grassed in. I almost think we should paint that so it looks better. Yeah, I think that needs just anything but that current paint job on there. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of painting because I'm not a fan of this. Um, I know we don't have to, but it just doesn't look right. Should we do... Oh, we can't even paint over that. Wow. All right. Well, that's kind of rough. That's okay. It looks, it is what it is. So we just won't mess with it. We won't mess with that edge of the field. 
Uh, so there we go. That's kind of our plans in terms of everything goes. Eventually, we'll buy more land and do that sort of thing. But, I mean, that field is huge. I mean, there's some huge fields in this map. You can see how far this map goes. I mean, this, this map is massive. So that's good. We got that squared away. Um, next episode, we'll probably get the uh, stuff taken care of here. I have weeds in my grass. Um, I mean, technically speaking, they probably would be in there. But regardless of that, um, yeah, okay. So hopefully that's all looking the good, the way it should look there. Yeah, I like that. So I think what we'll do now, um, I think we'll get ready to wrap up the stream probably. Is it going to be the next plan here? Uh, so we're going to get ready to wrap it up. But before we do that, we need to give away a Platinum DLC. So let me get ready to do that giveaway here. Uh, this is for the Platinum expansion for the game. So then we'll do that, um, and then we'll probably wrap it up there. And the next episode, we'll do cotton harvesting, get some of that done, and probably do some sugar beets over here as well. So that'll be the plan. Uh, but yeah, so far, everything's looking good. It's going in the direction that we want it to go. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yep, I'm pretty happy about that. So, okay, fantastic. Uh, my mod list, I probably won't, sh I can, I mean, that's, it's not that I don't want to share it, it's just it took me, it took, it took a while for me to download them all and select them all, so for me to make a list, it would take a long time to be able to get that done, so, uh, I probably won't make it a mod list for the series, but yeah. William Gardner, good to see you, my friend. See you, Sharp6251, I appreciate you stopping in, my friend. Um, and then we'll have to raid someone, probably, as well. Yeah, we'll have to see someone to raid here. Um, at some point, we might raid... Uh, Bruce's Gaming is live. We might raid him. Uh, but yeah, okay. Let's see who's going to go ahead and win the giveaway here. Oh, still, we could stream farm some. We could raid farm some guys. Well, actually, that's a good idea. We should raid farm some guy. Okay. We're going to put a start in here for our giveaway. So we'll see who wins this. And then we will call it call it fantastic. Call it good at that point. So, yeah. Pop back down here. We'll see who wins this. And then we'll call it, call it a day. Actually, what I can do in the meantime is get the raid set up for uh, the farm sim guy here. Let's see who won. And Dregner, or I can't pronounce your name. Uh, you are the winner, my friend. Congratulations. You are the winner of a Platinum expansion for you. Well, let's go here. Let's go down here. Uh, where's my live redirect? Oh, it's under customization, isn't it? Add. Oh, the the farm zone guy doesn't get a raid. He hasn't added me in his uh, privileges for whatever reason to be able to raid him. So we are unable to raid him. All right, we'll go, we'll go ahead and raid Bruce then. We'll raid Bruce. I think Bruce right. should let me raid him. Let me try to raid raid Bruce here. Yeah, Bruce lets me do it. All right, we'll save that in there. We're gonna go ahead and raid raid Bruce. But yeah, congrats, congratulations at Dragner over. Oh, I can't even Overlander. Overlander. Yeah. Let me write your name down. So I remember that you won. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and raid Bruce. There's a couple of links in the chat to him right there. And we will call it good with, with the stream for today. But anyhow, um, yeah, that's what I got one for you guys. I think you guys, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. I really like where this is going to go. I think this will be a good series. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.